Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and uh, we are back I apologize I was away for a few days but I have to be away to do some important work uh, <clears throat> I'm very tired actually from this trip but because I miss you I cannot resist to be here uh, before we start I saw a Mohammedan posting there saying there's a girl her name is Fifi she posted that I have 107 lies but she, Fifi, don't dare to call me to tell me one of them. I mean, can you imagine? Somebody discovered that Christian Prince, he have 100 and only 107 life. Why you, why, why you stop there? <laughs> Where is the response of a Christian Prince? My friend, every video I make is a response to all of Muhammadan. I don't respond to kids. Those are not men enough even to make a call. Your Mimi Hijab, he said he want to debate me, he ran away, the coward. He started playing for me videos, stop, hang up on him, call him names, and that's it. Even the videos he played, you know, it's, it's, it's a childless. None of you dare to debate me. <clears throat> and here we go. Who want to show me my lies? I am live. We say, when I am live on air, who want to call me, who want to call me, who want to call me? After I hang up, you make a video? <laughs> anyway. So today we are going to talk about, you know, if somebody is a prophet and he is receiving his information from God, there is no way of mistake. Me as a human who is dependent on himself, his knowledge, I can make mistakes, right? That's very normal. But when you claim to be a prophet, <coughs> the one is talking to you, the one is telling you, the information you have is God. I mean, I cannot go back on time, but God, he is beyond the time. I mean, time does not exist for him. So how Muhammad is a prophet of God, yet his God, he told him wrong information. If we ask a Muslim, <clears throat> can you name for me one historic information in the Quran coming to be true? Or it is not wrong? Do we have a Muslim in the chat? <clears throat> Any Muslim? <clears throat> Uh, uh, just count how many times uh, I'm going to ask how, how, how any Muslim it's like sometimes you feel like you're a person who is begging for like in the street begging for a, a, a bread or any Muslim we keep saying any Muslim and then after we go they will say Christian Prince is lying and in the best scenario they will make me a video of Zach and Nick but that's it they're the person who's the Christian Prince and that doesn't mean nothing. And I'm going to prove it for you. Okay, how you can prove it? Who want to do that? <clears throat> hmm? Not a single historic date in the Quran or a story is coming accurately. The names are wrong. Yeshua became Isa. Who is Isa? We do not know. Isa, the one I know, is the son of Maryam the sister of Aaron. So the foolish Muhammad, he thought that Isa, the son of Esau, the son of Maryam, which is the nephew of Moses and Aaron, he is the same as Jesus. <laughs> the father of Mary is, is who? Is Omron, which is the same name of the father of Moses, but he got it wrong too, because the father of Moses and, and Aaron is Omron, not Omron. So names are wrong. Dates are wrong. As an example, the Quran speak about <clears throat> the Samaritan, but as this this person who misled the people of Musa, he was exist in the time of Musa. <laughs> how how Muhammad he got this information? Where, where where this information came from? So when we say Muhammad is obviously a fraud, I mean, we have all the reason to believe it's a fraud. <clears throat> and those who we are saying we are lying, okay, how come I'm lying? The Samarian was in the time of Musa and Musa spoke to him? Mm hmm.
Muhammad is very, you know, I mean, that's really amazing. What, what does Samarian have to do with Musa? How Jesus became the nephew of Aaron, which means the nephew of Musa. That means Jesus was in the time of the Samarian to move. I mean, the time they are, they are like in the beginning of their existence. <clears throat> the same time of Musa. And Musa was in the same time of the, 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 the you know, the, the Samarian. So this is, I mean, this is messed up. But remember, the one is talking is God. The Muslims, they cannot say, this is, uh, you know, I mean, it's a book written by many people. No, because they claim that every single word in the Quran is coming from the mouth of Allah, which we do not know where it's located. By the way, where is the mouth of Allah is located? I mean, Muslims, they say Allah have a mouth. If you ask them, where is his mouth? They don't know. Is it located in his shin? Is it located in his fingers? Nobody knows. So this is a religion, everything there is wrong. From the top to the bottom. And then the Muslim, they say we are lying. I mean, we go, I'll show it to you on the screen. A church was hit by Azari with the plastic rocket in Armenia. My friend, the Armenian people, they should learn. They should learn. You see, this is what happened when you depend on others' people to protect you. They were waiting for Putin to protect them. Putin had business. Obviously, he's doing business. He did not. So don't, don't blame what they do to you. Blame yourself. I mean, what do you expect from the Turkish to do to you? They will give you hugs? I mean, hello? Learn from Israel. The Israeli trust no one. <clears throat> they don't trust the friends, they trust themselves only. Build your own forces, their own army, and get ready, you have many enemies. This is how you can keep peace. Peace only for those who have armies. Armies bring peace, not war. When you have no army, when you don't have enough forces, everybody will eat you. Anyway, we don't want to change your to that, our topic for today. Uh, do we have any Muslims? And not only Israel, Israel is helping the, the Turkish Muslims in that war, you believe it? Georgia is helping the Turkish Muslims in that war, and Iran for sure will help because the Turkish Muslims there, they are Shia in Azerbaijan. So Iran is fighting, I mean Armenia is fighting everybody alone. They thought the Russian would do something anyway, the Russian they are watching. <coughs> Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to do anything? Who is a Muhammadan? Take it easy, my friend. Take it easy. No, you are not depending on yourself. No, you are not. You are waiting for the Russian to do something. This is why they take you into surprise. You know, the, the Azerbaijani, they were practicing game war just the three weeks ago before the attack. And you know that the Turkish, they sent a lot of weapons to them. And the Israeli, they sold them a lot of weapons two months ago. There was a big article about it, big news, and the Armenian, they were just asleep. Hmm? The same as the, the Greek people, you know. The Greek people, just two weeks before Erdogan sent his army to attack uh, uh, Greece, they were going to buy from the Turkish airplanes. You believe it? <laughs> they buy from their enemy. <laughs> I mean, they say he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. This is what happened when you have a donkey president. Or Prime Minister. <clears throat> anyway, not our topic. Always depend on yourself. Be strong, nobody will attack you. They attack only the weak. As simple as that. As simple as that. Islam always based in cowardness. When you are strong, everybody give you a hug, like a Trump. We love you, Trump. When, when Trump, he went to Saudi Arabia, they brought him 65 Muslim king and president. And he was lecturing them about life. Why? Because this is America. They don't respect you, they fear you. Did you learn? This religion practice fear gain. They, they, they live in fear. Even, even their worship is worship of fear. Why a Muslim he worship Allah? For two reasons. 
fear and reward. The reward is about sex. The fear Allah will insert in their anus a long chain and he will make them barbecue. Anyone remember where is that can be found in the Quran? <coughs> Hmm? Where we can find that in the Quran? And imagine it's a miracle, it's a scientific miracle. It's chapter 69. Here we go. Even the number is fishy. Chapter 69, verse number 32. Allah will insert in anyone he don't like in his anus a very huge chain, every ring of it is in the size of all the iron in the universe. I don't know how big the anus of a Muslim to insert all of this iron. You know, you can read the Nikathir, you will die laughing. The funny they say this is a lie. If I say something, they say it's a lie, but it's not a lie that all the iron in the world they will go inside an anus. How big is the anus, man? Let me show you. Because the Muslim, they say, Brother Sitta, Christian Brit is lying. But Nikathir is saying that it doesn't say that to be. I can show you the screen. It doesn't say that to be. You are lying. If we go now and see Ibn Kathir, <clears throat> chapter 69, verse number 32, all right. This is 69, here we go, Ibn Kathir. And this is verse 25 to 38, go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here it says, Then fasten him in a chain where for the length of 70 cubit, Kabul Ahbar said, every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron found in the world. If, 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 if. Don't you think this is so small? Every ring in this chain, and then read carefully, you know, I, they, was, they didn't say that, TB. My friend, it, it, it doesn't say that, it doesn't say that, CP. You know, speak like a man to me. It says that, read carefully. <clears throat> then fasten him, it will enter into his buttocks. Like what? Like even Allah punishment is sexual. Even the punishment of Allah is very, very sexual. What is this? In his buttocks? So hold on, I don't want to try my art now because this will be ugly. <clears throat> but imagine, just for the sake of uh, education, <laughs> guys, don't you, don't you, don't you miss me? Be honest, don't you miss me? Me myself, I don't miss myself, and I will, I will show you why. Look at this. I mean, this is the guy who wants to teach us about Islam. Look what he's doing in the screen. So this is the buttocks. And Allah will insert a big, big chain, brother, big chain, big, huge chain, brother. And the chain is very hot, made of fire and an iron, iron fire, chain, big chain, brother. But a huge, like you can imagine the, uh, the ring, how big the ring, like in the size of the earth. All of this will go in the buttocks. I don't know, maybe the anus at that time will be like flexible. I think this is a miraculous thing. Any Muslim wanna say so? <laughs> and they will say I'm lying. I mean, it's in front of you. And then brother, look, Islam is come with science and mathematics. Look, look, brother, at the information there. It says, brother, there, it will enter into his buttocks. Let me zoom in. <clears throat> I bet you many of you, you were asleep the second you heard the word buttocks, like, what the heck? What this guy is talking about? Let me hang up this channel before my kids see or hear it. Well, listen, it will enter into his buttocks. Let me zoom in because people might say this doesn't say that. Where it says that? Where? Where? It doesn't say that. Where? It will enter his buttocks 
and pulled out of his mouth <laughs> how Allah knew that there's a connection you tell me how Allah he knew that the buttocks is connected to the mouth I will give you three options Allah study medicine Allah is scientist Allah is an idiot which one you choose? <laughs> the best and forget about the rest hmm. now then they will arrange on a chain just like Loctos Locos lo Locos sorry are arranged in a stick eh, it's a barbecue time al Alfi reported from Ibn Abbas it will be run into his behind until brought out of his okay hold on it will be run into his behind which means his uh, you know anus until it's brought into his nostrils if, 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 which one you will make the chain split or what i'm confused now because there's one chain you like what, what? anyway things happen things happen you know this is islam This is what Islam is about. And now they will make a video, the sacred temperance line it doesn't say that. Hmm? You wanna kiss my head in the time of Corona? Thank you very much. Like, thank you very much, Toma. Toma is going to kiss my head in the time of Corona. Well, thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> I appreciate that. Can you do it next century? <laughs> Did you see the picture I posted in Patreon for when I was in the airplane? I mean, our science is a science of hypocrisy. They say you have to keep a distance, six foot in etc. of the airplane, like every two seconds. Keep the distance, please. Coronavirus uh, 19, and then they put us in an airplane, it's full of people, and there's people like sardine on top of each other. I mean, keep a distance, keep a distance, keep a distance. You go inside the airplane, there's no space. And always, by the way, next seat next to me is empty. I don't know why, because I'm, I think because I'm an Arab. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> Especially in the time of Corona. Anyway, we go back to our, what was our topic? I forgot since this uh, a chain, it's, you know, story. I forgot everything. What's my name? I mean, this is scary, man. Chain, anus. Why Allah forget the testicles? I mean, why he is focusing in the anus? Hmm. Sound fishy. We have an Abdul in the chat. So what I would do with him? Let him chat. You know, he's an Abdul. Welcome, my friend Abdul. So we go back to our topic. Can we find one reference in the Quran? Is not false anything i mean we're talking about history actually the muslims islam is the most confused cult ever you ask the muslim everyone give you a different answer as an example if i ask this uh, the, the the muslims who are in the chat Allah is coming from guys look, listen to that answer any muslim would like to tell us where is the name allah coming from if you search on the internet you will find muslim making articles everyone give you his own fantasy Allah means the supreme name of God. I'm not asking you names. We knew it's his name, but where it's coming from? What does it mean? What is the mean of Allah? Any Muslim know? Brother, we will ship a God, his name Allah, but we do not know what the name means. Okay, well, forget about Allah. You see here, it says the word Moses in the front of me. Okay, what Moses mean? Brother, we don't know. Okay, Miriam, we don't know. Aaron, we do not know. Abraham, we do not know. Isa, we do not know. Adam, we do not know. So what do you know? Oh, oh boy. Why bring big or wild boar is not 
wise to win the war against them. I'm not sure what they mean. Speak English to me, please. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim can tell us why Islam know nothing? Hmm? What is the name of the father of Abraham? In the Quran, his name is Azar. Uh -huh. Are you Thur? Who is Azar? Who is this guy, Azar? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. And look what happened. Azar is coming from the ancient Aramaic, which means foolish. So the stupid Muhammad was copying from an Aramaic book. Aramaic, uh, uh, if you remember, there's a person, his name is Waraq ibn Nawfal. And even in the hadith, it says that Waraq ibn Nawfal was translating the Quran. You remember the hadith? Sorry, the, the, the Injil, the Bible, the Gospel. And the Torah, supposedly, would like look like it's a mix, or uh, let us say, a summary of the of both. Uh, if you go back to the Hadith, and this is authentic, this is Sahih Bukhari. Muslim cannot deny it. You will see here in the Hadith that Waraka he was uh, translating the Bible. Let us see. Here we go. Waraq ibn Nawfal bin Asad ibn Abdul Uzza ibn Qusay is from the same family, supposedly of Muhammad, according to the hadith. Uh, Waraq was the son of a uh, paternal uncle of I.E., her father brother, who was during who during the pre-Islamic period become a Christian. The fact he is not a Christian, he is Nasara, he is a cult. And he used to write Arabic writing and he used to write of the gospel in Arabic. That is the Quran. Do you see it? This is where Muhammad he got his starting from. What is the what is the Arabic Quran, uh, Arabic Bible? Where we can find it, which is made by Waraka. Waraka he made it for who? It disappeared. No, Muhammad he took it. And Muhammad was so attached to Waraka to the point, I believe, this is my own opinion, Waraka is the real father of Muhammad. If you remember, if you have my book, The Deception of Allah, you will find that the sister of Waraka, she offered the father of Muhammad, according to Muslims, not according to me. It doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> she offered him 100 camel to sleep with her. I mean, don't you think this is, I mean, the Muslims, they exaggerate and their lies to the point you cannot believe it. She may be, you know, she offered him maybe a tail of a camel, maybe two kilo, two kilo of meat of camel, but 100 camel to sleep with her, why? And then, according to the story, after Muhammad, he went and he slept with the mother of Muhammad, he came back to the Waraka, a sister, and he said, he's, he's ready. She said, I have no need for you. She knew he slept with her, so he don't, she don't want him no more. So it looked like Waraka, he sent his sister to this man because he had a relationship with her to stop her, stop him from going there because he is already sleeping with the mother of Muhammad. And actually all the stories support that because Muhammad was born four years after his father's death. This is why if you search on the internet right now about the, the, the period of a, a woman delivering a child, for how long she can be pregnant, you will find the Muslim they believe between four years to 10 years, some they say even more. Why? Just because they want to cover what happened to Muhammad. How in the world, Muhammad, he died, let us say, Muhammad, he died in the year 2000. Sorry, not Muhammad, Muhammad, uh, the clean father, Abdullah. Even the name I believe is wrong. There's nothing called Abdullah. The reason I believe it's wrong, because if Abdullah is exist as a name, then why he is, I mean, he, he worship Allah, why he will go to hell? His name is a slave of Allah. He worship only one God. His name is Allah. Why he will go to hell? So in, in, in the Middle East, when somebody, he converts to a new religion or his, or let's say, 
his uh, his father uh, a person his father is let us say you became a king and your father have a bad name so what do you do you change the name and you will see many muslims in the time of muhammad they changed their names after they became muslims they changed their names after they became muslims actually even the caliphate they had bad names and they changed their names to fit with the with the new job so abdullah doesn't exist we do not know the real name uh, Muhammad was born according to Muslim books four years after his father's death, which they claim that this is the real father. If I search right now, let me do this. <clears throat> because you know the Muslim they would say it doesn't say that CP, you know? It doesn't say that, let us see. I'll try to find it in English actually. Oh boy. I can't find it in English, but I want to find it. Uh, I mean, I, want, I can find it in Arabic, but I want to see if I can find it in English first. Right, let's see. <clears throat> because if you find it in Arabic, I'm, I'm going to use uh, Google Translation. Uh, um, I prefer to find it in a good... Well, it looks like we will not find it in English. Let us see. Give it one more try. You know, by the way, in, in the, like long time ago, I used to do this all the time. Always I have to show it in Arabic because when I start teaching about Islam, you know, the internet was different from now and there's no translation for that. Like, like those pages you see in the front of you, there's nothing, you know. So it was really very hard. I hate it when my keyboard is switched to Arabic and I am typing thinking that I'm searching in English. Oh. I find the minimum period, I want the maximum. Um, Well, look like we will not find it, so let us find it in Arabic. I don't want to make you wait long. <clears throat> and then we will use Google uh, Translation. And here you see that Islam get everything wrong. Not only history is wrong, you know, everything is wrong. All right. Here we go. This is a Muslim Islam Islam Ka info. I will put the page for you on the screen in a second, and then I will convert the link actually, because the link have Arabic, uh, you know, words, so it's not going to be easy to post in uh, in Google in YouTube. Let me shorten it. Uh, link. So I will post it for you. So Muslim don't say where you get this link from. This is not true. Uh, shorten. Okay. All right. Here we go. I will I will shorten it and post it for you. So all of you, all of you, you can do the same. I will do here if you want. Uh, you can just uh, open the link and open it in in Google browser, please. And then you can. You click on the page and translate into English or your language. I don't know what your language you speak. 
like you know I, because i'm arab i speak all languages alhamdulillah alhamdulillah you know yeah like prophet muhammad he speak all languages except his own <laughs> anyway so look at this the longest period of time uh, women she can stay in her pregnancy so I'm going to click in the front of you Google translation this is not my translation you know I will use Google and let us see <clears throat> so this is the title this is the question about what is the maximum period the duration for women to be etc according to islam the answer is here so here is the question of a normal muslim here here is the answer of the the call them ulama you know the the sheikhs the big sheikhs the big potatoes okay now you will see here number one the maximum according now they will give you schools starting from nine months all right and here number two one year and the one who said that in the view of muhammad ibn abdul hakam and etc then two years in a tab doctrine okay so they are giving you the reference and giving you who is the one who is saying that according to islam this is not according to uh, a person this is according to their understanding of the sharia three years according to uh, this is number four uh, according to a shafi'i This is three years, actually, according to Laith ibn, uh, ibn Sa'd. Four years in the doctrine of Shafi'i. Shafi'i is one of the Islamic uh, Sunni sect. There's four of them. So Shafi'i and Hanbali, they believe that the women, you know, can be carrying a, a baby for four years. Actually, there's a hadith about it. There is a guy, he complained that his wife, she was... You know, she does not giving delivery for four years, and then her, 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 his son, you know, he gave a son, and his son have long hair, <laughs> maybe a long beard, I don't know. And then here it says five years, which is according to the authority of Imam Malik. You know, Maliki is you know the Islamic. This, those are the highest scars of Islam. They, they are the one who establishes schools. Then six years according to Az Zuhri and Malik. Then you see the number is increasing now. We started with nine months, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, and here, here seven years, you know, and then here, seven years according to, uh, uh, this is number seven, Rabia uh, al rai and this is according to Az-Zuhri and Malik too. And then he says, and then number eight, there's no limit, brother. <laughs> No limit. <laughs> I love it, this one with no limit, you know, like, okay, imagine you were married one day and you divorce your wife. And then after 30 years, she called you. She said, honey, come to the hospital and pay for the bill for the baby. I just gave birth to him. You see what baby? I divorced you 30 years ago. I did not see, I did not touch you since then. <laughs> she said, honey, don't you say, don't you know, according to Allah, I can be carrying a child forever. <laughs> and now the Muslim, they will say to me, it doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't what? It doesn't say that, CP. It's a lie. It's a lie. He's lying to you. This is your Islamic official website. This is your scholars. Islamic questions and answers. Those are the scholars. What, what we will do now? This is not a guy in YouTube. Those are your best. Forget about the rest. Huh? Do we have any, uh, any Muslim want to say anything? And you know, like imagine, <clears throat> that's a good thing, by the way. I mean, your mother, she did not deliver you until you are 30 and you go out and you are ready to, go to, to join the army. <laughs> Unbelievable free accommodation for 30 years, eating, drinking, sleeping, doing nothing. 
you know, just watching TV because, you know, he can see through your mother, you know, from the belly bomb. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim here who here don't agree with his own religion? Don't say I don't agree with you because this is not me saying that. You see now they will say, Christian Prince, this is not true. I am not the one is saying that, as you see. This is the question number, you know, here in the top you see the question number, the fatwa number. Fatwa in Islam means holy answer according to the, uh, uh, the, the teaching of the Prophet. The false prophet. All right. So what we would do now? <clears throat> you are a question. You have a question. You are a Muslim. You have a question. Sorry, are you, you, are, you are a question. You have a Muslim. Oh, okay. Kevin, you, you are a Muslim. You have a question. How come you are a Muslim and you call yourself Kevin? How come your name is not Abdullah, Fatima, you know, something exhaust, uh, uh, Ex ex what? Exotic? It's is it true that Allah have a womb in the hadith? Well, you know, uh, I mean, if I want to take it in a literal way, I can say that, but I prefer not to say it is literal. I I take you see, I don't take a side when I speak about Islam. So, uh, uh, Allah He have a womb. Uh, it's possible, but what we know for sure confirmed that Allah is empty from inside, so He cannot have a womb. Because if you if you ask a Muslim, who is Allah? All what he knew that Allah have a hand, Allah have a leg, Allah have a face, but Allah have no spirit. And when you say you have no spirit, it means you are empty. You are just what? I mean, maybe not maybe not totally empty, maybe concrete inside. We don't know what is inside, supposedly. But there's no life in that. Womb is something living. You know, when you say womb, it's not only something living, it's something host life. So Allah cannot host life. Allah don't have a son. You know, if you go in the Quran right now, and you see the answer which Allah supposedly gave, why he don't have a son? You will find that those answers are the most silly answers. Even a human being who work, I mean, in the lowest job with no education, he never go to school, he will not give those answers. Even he use a low class language to the point he call he don't say, I don't have a wife. He say, I don't have a girlfriend. Sahiba. Actually, Sahiba is not even a girlfriend. You see, there's a, there's a word which means uh, companions, but not necessarily close to you. Like, you know, people you, maybe they say you, you enjoy their company. And there's people who they are close to you. Muhammad, he speak about a woman. How I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? In chapter 6, verse 101. And here you notice that the answer is just so stupid because how can I actually he did not say how can I he said can how can he and this is another stupid thing in the Quran if the one is talking is Allah how Allah he says how can he who is talking you know what I mean <clears throat> how Allah he say to Allah how can he if Allah is talking Secondly, when he say, how Allah can have a son if he never have a, a concert or companion? They hear the word or companion. Hmm? But look how this is a stupid answer. So how you convince your followers that Mary, she have a son, yet she never have a companion? Yet you cannot have a son unless you have a companion. Do you see how broken the logic is? This is a broken logic. You know, when we say when we say God right away, there's words will be attached to that word like Almighty, correct? When we say God right away, we know that we are talking about the Almighty. What Almighty means? Somebody tell me. 
What the word Almighty mean? <clears throat> Anyone can tell me what Almighty mean? Especially if you are a Muslim, please help us. What Almighty mean? Because if you are a person who believe in God and you do not know the definition of Almighty, that's mean you're a fool. So here the Quran saying to us, Allah cannot be the Almighty. You know what I mean? I know, I know the hadith tree, I know the hadith. But you see, I don't want to give it my own interpretation. This is what the hadith says. And you can take it in a metaphorical way, you can take it in literally. But for me, I don't focus on things, will not help me too much. Allah have a womb, Allah don't have a womb. Allah doesn't exist anyway. Because a Muslim can say to you this metaphorical, right? And there is no other reference to prove to us that Allah have a womb, you know? So it can be metaphorical. But focus with me here. How Allah is the same God who made Mary have a child without a, a companion, yet he himself cannot have a son without companion. You know what I mean? Because here it says, Allah questioning his ability. How can he? That is stupid. <laughs> if you are almighty, you can. There's nothing impossible for God. God do not need a companion to do anything. He do not. The God of Mary he do not need any addition to make Mary have a son. All what he need is his power. Isn't it God is the creator? Isn't it God is the originator? Is the, isn't it God who do everything? So how come near God suddenly became in this ability? This is a question can be, or an answer can be given from a normal human being. Like you asked me, do you have a son? I said to you, are you an idiot? How am I going to have a son if I don't have a woman? Hello? But when Allah, he says such an answer, that is silly stupid. Proving that Allah cannot be the almighty God. And then look at this. How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? And then he say he created all things. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, how, you just said you create everything, so why you cannot create a son? Say, this is my son. <laughs> you do not need a woman. Allah is the one who created everything. Okay, create somebody. Say, this is my son. Let me introduce my son to you. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> stupidity is amazing no yeah somebody saying to me CP is a huh really is a goat why don't talk about the goat my friend because the goat have a problem I know a goat since she ate the Quran 1400 years ago she is suffering in her belly her stomach always she have there look at this There's a there's a video uh, made by a girl. Her name is Fifi, uh, answering uh, David Wood. And uh, David Wood, he says the goat ate the Quran. Fifi answered. He said, "No, we know the verses." Okay, I said to Fifi, "Can you recite for me the verses of Ten Time Breastfeeding for Adult?" <laughs> no, we know the verses. Where are they? I want you to make a video reciting for me the ten, ten time the the verse of stoning and breastfeeding an adult ten time was revealed an adult ten time breastfeeding revealed 
Playboy magazine. Ten time breastfeeding subscription was revealed. And now what happened? The goat ate it? So, I mean, the goat ate the paper. Where is the Quran? The Muslim, they say, we, we memorize the Quran. Brother Fitter, Abu Tam can't, can't recite the Quran for you. You can't find the Christian, he recite the Bible. You idiot. All your Quran is not even in the size of the index of our first book in the Bible. Your Quran is so tiny. Do you know how big the Bible is? In order to put the, the Bible, which is the book of books, together, we have to make the pages so thin. Still, it is huge. So Muslim compare reciting their funny book to our book. Anyway, breast telling for, for adult. Uh, this is true. Allah, he went to his office. He said, today I'm going to send something very, very, uh, very fun. And the men, they will love it. Oh, men, my servant, from now on, you can do breastfeeding 10 times for a woman. She is not your wife. And you have to suck them 10 times until you are satisfied. Satisfied? Like what? Until like, you cannot take it no more. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, actually, I'm very upset that the stupid goat ate those verses. It's going to be so fun to have them in the Quran now. I mean, from all the Quran, she ate those. I believe that this story is kind of fishy. The one who ate those verses is the Muslims, not the goat. It was embarrassing, stupid, so they delete them. This is the truth. Because think about it. And look, look, look here, it says there. These verses were abrogated in the citation, but not a ruling. What? <laughs> where, is, where in the Quran it says we abrogate those verses? Where, where? And then he says, other hadith established the number of four, four, sta uh, four, four stages, four stage, what four stage? We are talking about adult, you idiot. <laughs> Oh boy. <sighs> the goat ate your homework? Well, why you put your homework in the front of the goat? What's wrong with you? Don't you know goat, they eat anything? I mean, a really goat, they can eat anything. They, are, they eat plastic, they eat anything. That's why, you know, if, if a goat, she live in a city, never drink milk of a goat, I'm telling you. Because they can feed them anything. A goat live in the mountains, etc. Yeah, but if they live close from the city, they feed them anything. Don't, don't take their milk. And one of the funny thing about Islam, they said to you, uh, it's it's abrogated in recitation. And what what is the logic of this? Why I'm going to follow it, but I cannot recite it? Give me a reason. How stupid is that? And how we can follow Allah if we deleted? from writing, I mean, so people can play with it. It is abrogated recitation. Hmm. Anyway, until now we find no Muslim to answer us. Why Muhammad? Look at the title. Why, why guys, why have only 636 people? Is that because I was talking about goats? Are you people racist against goats? You don't like goat, don't you? I'm so disappointed. Okay, I, 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 will, I will change the topic so we can receive more uh, <clears throat> uh, more viewers. Let us talk about something more interesting. Forget about the goat. Oh. What I would do, what I would do. Hmm.
I'm trying to find you something more interesting than what we, you know, you guys like you don't like the goat stuff, you know, racist, you're racist people. Oh, I found a story about Yafur, the donkey of the prophet. Mean. The donkey is of the prophet, he was a story by himself. You know, you hear about uh, <clears throat> uh, like certain companies, like uh, Rose Rise, as example, they have certain numbers, very small numbers of cars they made, right? Hmm. And Muhammad, he come with a story which is very, I find it very, very interesting. And this is a story, by the way, telling us a lot uh, about the Prophet. MashaAllah, the Prophet is amazing. You see, one of the things about the Prophet, brother, he cared for animals. I want to find you the book, the 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 story from Ibn Kathir. Where is the story? I found it in Google, but Google translate Google page books we cannot translate. <clears throat> Let us see. Um. You see, I found the book actually. But anyway, let us let us put it as an image. I cannot I cannot find the. Uh, let us do this. Oh, this is not a Mikathir. Oh, no. Hold on, let me find a Mikathir. I don't want this one. Okay. This is the book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. If you remember, I made a cartoon about this story, and here is the reference. Here it says Hadith al Himar, the story of the donkey. Let us highlight so you can see with me what, what I'm talking. The story of the donkey. Here it says. We've been taught by etc. 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 When Allah He opened, which means He occupied land, you know, this, the thief Muhammad, uh, at Khaybar. He attacked Khaybar. And He got His shares. And from His share, the God, He got four uh, bear, a, a pair of mules and four pairs of sandals and ten. I don't know what the translation for the word in uh, uh, like uh, like ounce of gold and sil silver and a donkey a black donkey. Then he says the prophet he spoke to the, pro the to the donkey. Oh sorry the, the the yeah the prophet he spoke to the donkey and he said to him, "What is your name?" The donkey he said, "Yazid ibn Shihab." <laughs> Allah, he made from my seed, from the seed of my uh, grandfather, 60 donkey. All of them, no one ride them except the prophet. And no donkey left from my grandfather except me. And no one of the prophet except you. And I was waiting for you to ride me. And I was owned by a Jewish man. And I used to make him feel down in purpose. 
and he used to make me hungry, and he hit my back. And the prophet said, I call you Yafur. Oh, Yafur. The donkey said, I'm here, prophet, for you. The prophet said, Atashtahil inath? Do you like females? He said, No. <laughs> The donkey said no. <laughs> and then at the end of the story, it says when the prophet, he passed away, the donkey, he committed suicide. And that would make him the first suicide. Oh, you know what? You guys, you don't have a screen. It's my phone. Man, I can't see. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was highlighting all this time and the screen is off. It's my fault. Okay, we have to do it again from the beginning. Mm. it's okay it's okay we do it again always uh, all tv stations they have a, a, diffi a technical difficulty all right now you see it now you have no excuse no screen no screen i got no screen no screen okay i wasn't looking all right <clears throat> so anyway the story is here the reference is here this is a make theory and the Muslim, they will say, you know, it says it's denied by many of the scholars, but, you know, it's in your books, you know. So here the, the story where it says, when Allah, he opened for the prophet at Khaybar, which means he occupied Khaybar and he raped the women and he killed the men, he got four pair of mules and four pair of shoes or sandals and ten ounce of gold and silver, and a black donkey, uh, um, um, uh, what, how to translate that? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, so the prophet, he spoke to, uh, to the donkey, and the donkey spoke to him. So he said to him, what's your name? Masmuk. My name is Yazid ibn Shihab. And Allah, he made it from the seed of my grandfather 60 donkeys. None of them ride them except a prophet. And no donkey left from the seed of my grandfather except me. And, and no prophet except you. Makes sense. He is the last donkey made for prophets. And Muhammad is the last prophet. That's it. No, this is donkey for like the local transportation. Al Burak is a limousine for long distance. <laughs> Slowly speak. I am from Pakistan. Okay, Paul. Sorry, my friend. I will try my best to speak slowly. Any Muslim have any comment? We go back to that title. Why Muhammad know nothing about Abraham? Okay, let us let us let us ask here a, a simple question. Any Muslim here can tell us something Muhammad he said. It come to be right. Names are right. Do you remember the guy, his name is Adnan, Adnan, what's his name, Adnan, the speaker corner, the potato? He made a video, which is very laughable. And I saw a video of uh, 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 Sam Shamoon and David were trying to refute him. But you see, most of the Christians, when they refute, they don't know really, I mean, they, they, they go around the, the issue because when you do not know Arabic, that will make it so difficult for you. If you go in the Quran, you will find he was speaking about how how the Prophet he discovered that uh, 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 in, in one time in the Quran Allah he says a king, and one time he says Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? How you knew that? History proving that at that time there was no Pharaoh. But the Quran says clearly and proving to us that Muhammad is a stupid person. According to Muhammad. Pharaoh, Pharaoh is a name. How we prove it? It's not a title. <clears throat> what is Anjana Anjanakum? Uh, Anjanakum Ali Pharaoh. Ali Pharaoh. The word Al mean 
like you say in Arabic we say Al Saud. How many of you heard the word Al Saud? All Arab they, they knew it, right? Al Saud. Al Saud is a, a supposedly royal family now in Saudi Arabia. So Al mean what? Mean family. So that name is Pharaoh. <clears throat> so the stupid Muhammad he thought this is his name. And then you will see that this is to continue. Here he called Ali Pharaoh. Let us go to this verse first, chapter number uh, 2, verse number 49. So in the translation, look what it says. The people of the Pharaoh, it doesn't say in the Quran, the people of the Pharaoh, it says Ali Pharaoh. Al, that's mean the family of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, this is their last name. This is their, 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 the family name. Or let us say, this is the name who belong to the person. Saud, as an example, Ali Saud, he is the grandfather of the family who is ruling now. So they call themselves what? Ali Saud. So Muhammad, obviously, in the Quran, he thinks that Pharaoh is a name. Let us give another example. Al Ibrahim. Al Ibrahim. Okay. فقد أتينا 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 Al Ibrahim الكتاب. Okay. أتينا Al Ibrahim الكتاب. What Al Ibrahim? Al Ibrahim, the family of Abraham. Chapter four, verse number fifty-four. Okay. And look here in the translation, the deception. Look what it says. The same word Al, they translate as a family. Do you see? The same word. Go back. Just to show you, we are talking about the same word. This is the same word in yellow as you see it. Do you see it? The same word. I will take a, uh, I will take a screenshot so we can compare between them. Hmm? The one in yellow. Give me a second. <clears throat> this is why always you cannot trust Islamic translation why the same word translated here as a family and when be before a pharaoh translated as people of pharaoh so let us, let us do this let me put the screen back for you I open the screenshot Okay, so now here there's Ali Ibrahim, and here there's Ali Faraon. Uh, how we can do that? Let me zoom it out. Okay, that will make it work. So look with me. Isn't it the same exact word? Do you see them? I'm trying just to make it. All right. Two verses, and there, we can show you the rest of the verses, not only here, because the Quran is full of the word Al. Al Faraon, the Muslim translated the paper of Pharaoh, but before Ibrahim, it says Al Ibrahim, translation, the family of Ibrahim the same exact word so the stupid Muhammad he thought that the word Al sorry the, 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 the word Pharaoh is a name so when a Muslim he make a video how prophet he knew that that his prophet is a stupid he think Pharaoh is a name the same as Abraham you see he put it before Pharaoh the same as the word appeared before Ibrahim do you see it let us highlight this is the word Al, which means family. And this is the word Al, which means family. Here, this is the word Pharaoh. And here, there's the word Ibrahim. Here, they translated about Ibrahim, family of Ibrahim. Here, they translate the word Al as people of Pharaoh. <laughs> and not only that, we can go to, to other examples, you know, as an example here. 
Uh, what about Musa's as an example? Hold on. Look at this. Hmm. Here, chapter 2, verse number 248. Look how many times the word appear and translated as family. You see the word family? The family of Musa's and the family of Aaron. But what is the word used? Al. You see it? Look. Al. Alu Musa. Alu for Alu Harun. Let's go back to the Arabic page so we can see it in yellow. Hmm. You see? Alu Musa. Wa Alu Harun. The same exact word. Translation is the family of Aaron and the family of Musa's. So this Chippet Muhammad, he thought Pharaoh is the last name or a name of a person and he is calling them the same as the rest. Uh, I will give another example, more clear. There is a famous chapter which is speaking about Jesus and Mary, etc. It's called what? Al Imran. Do you remember it? Chapter number three. What the translation for it? Look, it says here Al Al. Look, look. Do you see it? <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. Al Imran. Family of Imran. So when you put the word Al before Pharaoh, you idiot, you are making Pharaoh a name. So this donkey, he made a video speaking about it, and David Wood and uh, Sam Shamun do not know how to answer him, supposedly. The answer is here, my friend. Come to Christian Prince. I will give you what you deserve. Why I cannot speak Arabic? Who said I cannot speak Arabic? Who told you that? I mean, all this time we are reading Arabic and you are saying why you cannot speak Arabic? So how we are teaching you that Al, if I don't speak Arabic, why I am showing you Al, how I'm reading Al for you? I, I want to see your intelligence. How it come to my head that this is the word and it's, this is the word Al if I do not know Arabic? Why well, you are not speaking Arabic? Why you don't speak Arabic? Why you do not know Arabic? Hmm. <clears throat> and Muhammadan, you want to say anything? So Muhammad, he have fair or wrong, he think he is the name. He do not know who is Isaac. Okay, if we ask the Muslim now, you cannot even count uh, properly in English. No, I cannot. Do your prophet know? <laughs> I mean, just to show you how Muslims, they say statement which is embarrassing for their prophet. Your prophet, my friend, do not know even how to write his name according to you Muslims. So you are saying to the people here, if somebody do not speak good English, you should not listen to him. That's mean you are a donkey because you are listening to me. Number two, you are stupid. If I am not worth of listening, and you can understand what I'm saying, so how you are having a conversation with me? Number three, you are a hypocrite. You follow a prophet who do not know how to write his name or to read his name. And yet you follow him and you believe whatever he's saying. As we say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. And for sure the Chinese was not talking about you, was talking about your prophet. Now, say something smart. Otherwise, people will laugh at you. So, from everything I showed you, this is the answer, I do not know how to speak Arabic, I don't know how to speak English. Refute me, get me busted. Do you want me to open Skype for you so you can call me? Abdul. What, what was his name? Huh? Do you like me to open Skype just for you? Limited edition, Muhammad Bas, Mahmoud Bas. Limited edition, Skype for you, just for you brother. Do you dare to call me? How illiterate man can make a miracle book? You eat it. A second ago, you call me illiterate, and now you are saying, okay, okay, hold on. How this book is a miracle? I just showed you that Muhammad, he think that Pharaoh is a name. This is miracle of stupidity. Mahmoud, I am willing to take a call just from you in Skype. What do you think? And I challenge you to show me one miracle in the Quran. Because you are saying this is a miraculous book. 
I say, this is a joke, there's no miracle there, and I will speak to you in a nice way. I will forget about the insult you gave me. No problem, you can insult me. What do you think, guys? Do you, do you think Mahmoud is willing to call me? Shall I go and Skype for you, Mahmoud? I, I am not in Skype yet. If you say yes, I will go and Skype just for you. <clears throat> I'm not going to ask you a question. You tell me how the uh, show me the miraculous, uh, the miracle of Quran. How that work? What do you think? Can you do that? I see an, a book written by an idiot. You see a book is a miracle. That's mean either me or you, the idiot. And let people, you know, judge. What do you think? Are you willing to call me? If you just say yes, I will, I will log right now to my Skype, just for you, my friend. Just for you, I will not accept any call from anyone except you. What happened to you? Are you? Did you take a nap? <clears throat> so what if the Bible speak about Pharaoh, but but doesn't say that Pharaoh is the name of a person? Pharaoh is a title. So what? Here, Pharaoh became a family name. That is a stupid. <coughs> the shortest surah has hundreds of documented linguistic miracles. What, which one is the shortest surah? This one? Actually, just to show you how stupid the Quran, how this is can be from God. The shortest surah, right? Which one? I mean, this is a shura. This is a surah. This is this is stupid. A god who believe. In voodoo. Voodoo, 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 do do da da do da do, va da do da 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 do da 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 do, da da do da. And look at the translation. Look at the funny translation. Where is the knots? What happened? Look, and from the evil of those who practice sorcery, it doesn't say that. It says from Mumin Sharri Nafathati fil Uqad. Change the translation just to show you how they lie in their translation. I mean, you cannot find a decent person, you know, to translate the Quran. Look, we just trans change the translation to Muhammad uh, Hilal Khan. And the, from the evil of the witchcraft when they blow in the knot. <laughs> blow in the knot? Your God Allah saying. I seek refuge from the evil of the witchcraft when they blow in the night. That's not. <laughs> this is a miracle, brother. It's a miracle. And by the way, this verse here says, and look at the translation. And the, from the evil of the dark in night, as it's come, it's darkness between two bracket or the moon as set or goes away. What a stupid translation. This is about the penis. Excuse my language. From the evil of the penis when it stands up. Do you want to show you? That this is the truth? Hold on. Give me a second, give me a second. Search and Google, search and Google. Dungambara, rura, rura. <laughs> Let me add in the search two words. Hold on. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> what we will do now, what we will do. Amazing miracle in the Quran. Amazing, brother, amazing. Look at this, the Quran. 
Allah speaking about the penis. Hold on, give me a second. Let me find the reference. <clears throat> because you know them, they will say this is not true, you know? You know them. You have to show the reference. <clears throat> All right. We will be there in a second. We are trying to find <clears throat> the interpretation, official interpretation, Islamic website for their scholars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Who is a Muslim was willing to call me and I will wait for you and you read it for us? Anyone? And how that can be miraculous? You are a Muslim, you want to talk in Skype? Okay. Let me open Skype. Just, you know, give a chance for somebody. Let us see. Open challenge to a Christian from the message foundation. My friend, don't make a challenge for me. Just call me. You know, real people, they call. They don't need to make a challenge. Do it. Don't say it. This is potato talk. You know, potato talk. If somebody want to debate somebody, he call. Hey, challenge. challenge. Here you go. Here we go, we'll open Skype. <clears throat> Give me a second. And what is that Mrs. Van Dorsen? That's not a person? Van Dorsen? <clears throat> All right.
Okay, we are logging in Skype right now. Give me a second. Let us see if your foundation dare to call me. Foundation. You must have no foundation. Even the Kaaba you are talking about is built in the wrong foundation. The new Muslims agree on that. All right, we are in Skype. <coughs> <sighs> Somebody saying why a Christian in the church blow in knots and get a drunk behind the curtain with big cross around their neck. This is a lot. That's a lie. <laughs> if somebody do such a thing, he's like your prophet. I can show you from the Quran that the Quran saying the Muslim they drink and they pray. It's in your Quran. Here we go for the one who said that. A Muslim sending me a message in Skype saying. Why, why, where is the Muslim want to call me? Call me. This is documented in the Quran that you Muslims, you go to the mosque praying and you are drunk. And when the people, they start making fun of Muhammad and his religion and his followers. So Muhammad, he made a verse saying, Oh, please, Muhammadan, don't approach the prayer, Salat, when you are drunken. Do you see it? It is you Muslims who used to pray behind the Prophet. And this Prophet is a drunk and his followers are drunk. The Skype is open. Where is the one want to call me? <clears throat> Where is the one he said he wanna call? That sentence, where is the sentence are? No screen, no problem, here we go. Do you see it? This is it, chapter four, verse number 43. You Muslims go to the mosque, the mosque of Allah, the house of Allah, the house of Abraham according to Islam, and yet you are drunken. Now where is the Muslim wanna call me? My Skype is on. Where is the guy who said I have a sentence for me? Guy, the screen is on. That's it. Take take your time. It's okay. It's okay. I will make a I will make a song. It's called No Screen. Where is the woman to call me? Skype is open. Are you willing to debate someone in Arabic? Sure, I can debate in Arabic. No problem. But we have to translate. Because as you see, the audience are people who don't speak Arabic. Maybe maybe few like speak Arabic. But I have no problem. If you have a big shake, shaky, you know, I, I would love to. Well, we will debate in Arabic. Who cares? What is the guy who said he want to debate me? What? The, so you made me go on Skype, spending gas, you know, like an energy. And now you don't want to call me? <clears throat> what is the foundation? Ah, okay. Don't tell, my friend, don't post names in the chat. All of them are potatoes. If they want to debate me, how come you know how to find me? They don't know how to find me. There's a guy, he said, uh, they said somebody sent me a video. A guy, he said, I, uh, this guy, somebody told me, I want to debate Christian prince, uh, princes. Uh, first of all, I don't know who is this guy. Uh, and secondly, I'm willing to debate him, uh, but face to face. <laughs> Hello? Hello, CP. Hello, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes. All right. What do you like to say to us? You know the topic we are talking about, or you want to speak about something different? Okay, I'm not the one now who said I'll call you, but, but uh, I have some questions. Oh, okay, you have a questions, you don't have answers. Uh, 
Yes, yes, hmm. yeah, I have no answer. Okay, Are you, do, you, do you allow me to use your, your question? Uh, hmm. I joined like uh, three, 30 minutes ago and uh, I heard you talk about... Uh, can you speak louder? Why are you are whispering, my friend? Hardly we can hear I'm you. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's too late here. I don't want to... Okay. Uh, yeah, there's neighbors, so I don't want to speak loud. No problem, go ahead. Okay. About the story of uh, the donkey, the talking monkey. Hmm. Actually, I don't see what's the problem with that. No, I don't see a problem too, but the problem, I see a problem there when he asked him about, uh, do you like females? Yes, what's the problem about that? I mean, why Muhammad is asking such a question, like usually donkeys, they like male, they don't like females? I mean, is that the, is it the natural of a donkey, the natural thing, even for a human to like females? So why is asking a donkey? I mean, this is the first time you speak to a donkey. You don't uh, ask him about, okay, uh, you know, I mean, Imagine how nice, exciting to speak to an animal. But the first question you ask him about, do you like to have sex with, any, with, with, with female donkeys? What do you think? Okay, but uh, maybe the point of the, of the hadith, maybe it's, uh, it's about talking, I don't know. But maybe it's about uh, homosexuality, or I don't know. About what? I don't know. It, it could be about uh, homosexuality. Hmm. Are, are, you a, are you a Muslim? Yes. Can you say the Shahada? Shahada, no. I'm Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay. So you speak Arabic, right? I speak Arabic and I understand. That's wonderful. Okay, so Muhammad is trying to find out if the, his, the, the donkey which is created by Allah for a prophet uh, what he like, and now we discover that he is a gay, correct? No, 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 no. no. This is what you're just saying to me, homosexuality. It's you who mentioned the word, not me. Yeah, of course, but uh, I, before I said it, I said it could be. About, okay, no problem. About, it's, uh, it's you who said could be, not me. So remember, I'm just take, I'm using your words. It could be. But remember, yes. the donkey, he said that Allah, he created 60 donkey like him. And he is a special made by Allah for a prophet. So Allah, he created donkeys who they are gays. No, no, no. Uh, it's you who said that. Okay. My friend, it's you who said it could be about homosexuality. So now you said that you don't want to use it no more. So why you mention the word, the word homosexuality if you don't want me to use no, it? No, 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 no. Don't twist words. I said it could be. Exactly, uh, it could be. So, but uh, it's confirmed he is because he said no. No, no, you can't say it could be, uh, and after that... Uh, My friend, the, the donkey, he said, when your prophet, he asked him, do you like females, the donkey, he said what? He said no. Correct? I'm sorry, I'm just uh, mute you to, to, because... Uh, to, to what? Okay. Uh, just mute uh, YouTube because I, uh, oh, okay. I hear it up. All right, if I forget about the first one. Anything else you wanna you wanna add to what we are saying, to okay, what you heard? About uh, the Pharaoh thing. Yeah. Okay. The Pharaoh thing. Okay. What about it? Yes. Uh, you said that uh, uh, Muhammad uh, uh, believes that, uh, that there is only uh, one Pharaoh. Hmm. Yeah. No, and not only I didn't say he, he believed there's only one pharaoh. I said he believed it's a name. Yes. Uh, as long you speak, as long you speak Arabic, what the word Al mean? Al. When I say Al Saud, what what does that mean? Al. It could be. It could be. Uh, it depends on the context. Okay. The context. If we add the word Al before a name, what that will make? Contact. Give me. Give me an example where the Al appear before anything except a name. Can you give me an example? No, you cannot. So Al always appear before a name, singular name of a person. Ali Ibrahim, Al Musa, Al Harun. Read for me chapter two, verse number two forty-eight. As long as you speak Arabic, I want to take advantage of your Arabic uh, uh, reading. Here we go. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ etc. And here it says. Al Musa, Al Musa, and Al Harun, 
right? I don't see it. Don't okay, see you it. can open your phone in your hand, you know, I mean, chapter chapter 2, verse number 248. You can open it your phone, I don't know what you're using. So, Alu Musa's, what Alu Harun? Okay. Okay, so what Alu Musa's mean? Family of Musa's, correct? Musa's is a name. The word Al, so we use the word Al before a singular name. Musa's is a person, his name is Moshe. Aaron is his brother. Alu Musa's wa Alu Harun. Same for Ibrahim. Wa Alu Ibrahim. So you will find all the Quran saying the same. Alu Ibrahim, Alu Musa, Alu etc. Al, Alu Yaqub. Here we go. Alu Yaqub. Do you see Alu Yaqub in chapter 12, verse number 6? The family of Jacob. So Jacob is. So what we learn that the word Al is mentioned before a singular name. Jacob is a person. The word Al before it. Speaking about the family of Jacob. So when you see, here we go on the same page, we have Alu Yaqub and Alu Fara'aun. What about Alu Lut? Alu Lut. Lut is a person, right? This is his name. Chapter 15, verse number 59. Hmm? Okay, okay, I'll ask you a question. You'll ask me a question. Okay. When when it talks about the pharaoh, hmm. about which pharaoh it talks? Well, obviously, Muhammad, he knew only one pharaoh in the time of Moses. Okay, I'll ask you the same question for the Bible. Hmm. In the Bible, it talks about the pharaoh. Speak to us, you know, the pharaoh, the pharaoh is a person who lives in a house. This house belongs to the king. Let us say, it's a title. It's like a job. It's not a person. Yes, yes. Who, whoever I lived there, yeah, whoever, whoever that, lived. Yes. Okay, so the Bible never said that this is the family of etc. This is the name of a person. Pharaoh is a is a is a name used, uh, or let us okay. say a title, like let's say president. So, so what your prophet he did, let us say President Trump. So what your prophet he thought he think the word president is the name. No, 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 but but when you talk about a certain period. Exactly. So here you see, my friend, my friend. What, 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 okay, hold on, hold, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. As long as you are talking about period, all right? Yes. Let me ask you. In the Quran, it says that the Samari, he was exist in the time of Moses. And Moses exists in the time of Pharaoh. But what year was the Pharaoh and what time, what year was the Samari? No, no, don't, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Listen, we want to focus on this. I want to okay. Topic. I don't okay. Want to no, I'm not. Okay. Here we go. This. In chapter 20, verse number 85, chapter 20, verse number 87, chapter 20, verse number 95. All of them they say speak about the Samaritan. Okay, the Samaritan, he was exist in the time of who? In the time of Moses, according to the Quran. Is that accurate? And that make him exist in the time of the Pharaoh. What translation you like to put for you, I would put for you. You speak Arabic anyway. So how in the world the Samari and the Pharaoh and Musas all exist in one time? Do you know? Okay, CP. When, uh, when, uh, in the Bible. In the no, 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 don't, don't, don't jump to the Bible. You, uh, you are trying to save, you are trying to save yourself. I, I ask you a question. I ask, I ask you a question. So now you want to squeeze your head. You want to get out of the topic. I'm asking you, how in the world the Pharaoh, how in the world the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh and the Samaritan and Moses are exist in one time? Calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm speaking slow. I am speaking. I'm calm down. I'm asking you. I don't want to change yes. topic. Why do you want to change topic? Yes, I, I want, want to know want how the Samaritan is. Okay. Do you have Google? Do you have Google? Yes. Okay. In, in which time the Samaritan the Samaritan will exist? You are changing this. I am not. I am not changing. Who is it changing, guys? Are we changing anything? This is the. It's, you are the one who mentioned the word period, not me. So we are talking about that period. Pharaoh and Samarian and Moses are located in one period of time. And Samarian was existing in the time of Moses, and he is the one who mislead the people of Moses. Listen, listen, but, but you are starting but, um, uh, from the point that, uh, that uh, 
that uh, the pharaoh it's it's only talking about one person one my friend musa did live for 10 10000 years or for for how long listen, listen, no listen, listen no listen listen musa was exist in the time of the sumerian according to history the sumerian they exist in which the, which year Uh, if you search in, in uh, Google, uh, 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 peace upon him, it says here, I'm just searching, you know, I'm not using my own uh, uh, knowledge. It says here 720, uh, between 721 and 647 BCE. How that is exist, how, how the Quran put such an information here. So your God Allah, not only messed up about Pharaoh, he thinks Samar, the Samarian exists in the time of Moses. Moses, he went to a grocery store. He come back, he found the Samarian misleading them. <laughs> how, does, how, how Allah is God, but he do not know history. I mean, if, if the one who knew history, I mean, the one who is ignorant about history is God. That means Google is better than Allah because Google is giving you a correct answer. Here we go. Little search. It shows you numbers, exact numbers. <clears throat> what do you think, my friend? Actually, I'm looking. I'm looking on Google. Hmm. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm not a historian. I don't. I'm, I'm not like a person who claims to have knowledge. I just search in Google. It says this is you know this is cannot be true. You know there's a big mistake here, and this is God talking. The, the, you must you claim that every single information there is Allah speaking word by word. <clears throat> a lot of knowledge uh, in history, so hmm. I'm looking at the same, same time. I'm not. I'm not hearing you clear. You are like you know. We can if you speak a little bit more clear. Not. I'm not. Don't make it louder. We hear you, but it's not like you know. Make the word clear, please. So what you are saying? Okay. Yeah, I just say that uh, me too. I don't. Uh, I don't have. A lot of knowledge in history. So okay, forget about history. Okay, forget forget about history. Uh, uh, there is a person in the in the chat. He said Quran not a prophet, yet he is illiterate. He be, he brought a miraculous book full of miracles. Is that true that the Quran is full of miracles? Miracles. Hmm. We are talking about uh, scientific miracles. I don't know anything. I don't know. Is, is it true that Muslims they claim Quran is full of miracles or it's a lie? Actually, actually, I don't believe that. Uh, about uh, the scientific uh, miracles that uh, that a lot of Muslims. Yeah. Hmm. So you believe they are lying when they they fabricate those things? Okay, let me ask you. Of course, of course. It, it, there is it, okay. Do Allah knew how the baby is made? Of course, he, he made. Okay, so how you explain to me the Quran saying that the baby is coming from the backbone of the man, the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man? Is that true? How, how, how it is said in Arabic? Huh? How is what? How it is said in Arabic? In Arabic, as an example, chapter 4, verse 23, it says, يخرو, uh, أَبْنَاءَكُمْ الَّذِينَ مِنْ أَصْلَابِكُمْ أَصْلَابَكُمْ is the backbone. Chapter 86, verse number 7, it says, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ التَّرَائِبِ is the bones, the, the chest bones of the women. The, uh, the sulb is the backbone of the man. So how does God, he think, that there is a sperm coming from the man, coming from the backbone, and the woman, she have a sperm coming from the breast bones. Well, 
Chapter 86, verse number 7, and this is your Islamic translation. What the rib? Hmm. How that can be accurate? This is God talking. I mean, if a if a Christian prince is an Arab guy, he is saying things in YouTube. Uh, maybe is uh, this guy is wrong? He is ignorant. He does not know much. Maybe okay. But this is God. God, he is speaking about gashing forth the fluid, sexual fluid, and this sexual fluid coming from the backbone of the man and the breast. Huh? Not the screen, I'm, not, I'm not moving the screen, no problem. I'm not moving it. Okay. I'm going to ask you what you're asking. Excavate the above from, from gushing liquid. Hmm. But uh, when he says, uh, no. What? Actually, for a moment I thought that uh, it was talking about Adam and Eve. My friend, you speak Arabic, at taraib, at taraib, you can go to the dictionary. At taraib is the bones, the upper side of the bones, the location of the necklace of the chest of the women. So, يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب الصلب is the backbone of the man a terraib is a bones which is located in the upper side of the chest specifically in the location where the neck meet with the bones of the chest so according to your God there is a gushing forth fluid which is sexual fluid and that what make the baby فَلْيَنْظُرُ الْإِنسَانَ مِمَّا خُلِقْ خُلِقَ مِنْ مَاءٍ دَافِقْ it's a gushing forth. It's like this is the, the orgasm. <laughs> so your God, he think that the orgasm is coming forth from the man backbone and from the woman upper side of her chest. How this is can be from God? And I can open for you now the interpretation. Which what interpretation you like? Do you like Emikathir? What do you think about Emikathir? Actually, I don't care about uh, which, which interpretation. Oh, you don't like interpretation? I, 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 actually, uh, I like uh, to think about myself. Ah, you are the, you, you you like your own interpretation. Okay, give me your interpretation. Here we go. Okay, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, it's good to think. Why not? I mean, thinking is a good thing. You know, in the other day, I feel down in my backbone. Since then, I don't have gushing fluid no more. The doctor, he told me, I need, we need to repair your backbone. You know? That's why you have to put insurance for your backbone these days. My grandfather, he, he hurt his backbone, you know, he, that's why he could not have kids, only 96. But, I mean, backbone is very important. This where babies are made, you know, it's science. No, of course not. What is it not? This is Quran. We have to show respect, my friend. This is, this is true. We cannot deny this. Oh. Allah is talking, my friend, this is, you know, you cannot say that it's not true. This is science. That's amazing. The, the, the doctors didn't agree, absolutely, but because they are stupid. This is the truth here. Yes, but, but it has to, to accord with, uh, with the reality. Hmm. What do you think about the women? She have a sperm coming from her chest, man. Women are scary, aren't they? I mean, I never thought women, they have testicles in their chest. Thank God I'm not, I'm not married, man. I'm scared. You marry a woman, you go to the bedroom, she take off her, you know, like, oops, like what? Oh boy. <clears throat> I hope you are single like me, you know, but don't do that because, you know, it's dangerous, as you see. Oh yeah? Okay, you are. Okay, that's good for you. Don't do it, as you see. They, they, you see those, the women, they have like, you know, they, they, have, they look something in the chest. This is not their breast, this is testicles, as you see. The Quran says women, they have a breast testicles. 
True story. And you know what, just to help you, here we go. I will open Ibn Kathir. All right, this is a big scholar, according to Muslims. Yes, I know. Okay, so uh, here it says, let us see. And let us read what Ibn Kathir is saying. <clears throat> All right, uh, here it says, he created, the, uh, he created the from water gushing forth, meaning a sexual fluid that come brust Bursting forth from the man and the woman. The baby is coming from a water bursting forth from the man and the woman. This is what the Quran is saying. Does the child produce from both of them by the permission of Allah? And then he says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. <laughs> Meaning the backbone of the of the man and the and the ribs of the woman. <laughs> Which is referring to her chest. <laughs> that is science. That's so good to be true. That comes from the man. Yeah, and then he say here, proceeding from the between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, it is a uh, it is it is the fluid yellow and fine in texture is about the woman, and the child will not born except from both both of them, i.e. the sexual fluid. That is science. If both of them, I don't I did not hear. Yeah. And by the way, here, this is a statement, Ibn Kathir is copying your prophet. It's your prophet, he says, about this, that the, 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 the fluid of the women is yellow and thin in texture, and the baby will not be born without it, and without the sperm of the man, or the gushing forth sexual fluid of the man. So what do you think, my friend, if this is God? I mean, how, what kind of God do you say such a thing? Are you okay? It can't come from the ribs. Hmm. Look, before we, we uh, just to tell you, because we showed this information in the screen, a lot of people converted to Islam right now as we speak. I mean, by hundreds, unbelievable. This is amazing. We just discovered that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from the backbone. Mm. And the baby will not be made unless we have both uh, sex over the mm. God must be God. You know, that must be God. There's no one who know this unless he is God. His name is Allah. Brother gods don't know that. You know, this is Allah only knows this. Hmm. So what we will do now? Be honest with me. Don't you think this is this is not right? Actually, I don't. Uh, if I found that in a hadith, or uh, I don't know, I couldn't have easily projected it. Yeah, but this is Quran. That's the issue. That's the issue, exactly. So what we will do, we, you know, be honest with yourself. If it's in the hadith you rejected, so why don't reject the Quran too? If I am you, as long as I have a basic decision, if the hadith says such a thing, I will reject it. Well, the Quran is no better. That cannot be from God. As simple as that. Yeah, but but you have to look it up deeply. My friend, we are looking deeply. Here we go. You are taking your time. I'm showing you a Kathir too. You can show. You can see all the scholars, and we show you the Quran. And you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. You see, if somebody don't speak Arabic, I can say, okay, he need maybe you know. But you speak Arabic. You are an Arab. We are showing you the Quran, or we are showing you Ibn Kathir. What do you want? I'm not an Arab, but I speak Arab. No problem. You are an Arab. You speak. Where are you from? If you don't mind, what what is your what ethnic is your is yours? Kurdish. I can't say. 
No, okay. I'm black, blonde. Uh, uh, I'm a black, uh, blonde, African American from Japan. So what a big deal! All of us, we are brothers, my friend. God, He created Adam and Eve. All His children are family: black, white, Arab. It doesn't matter, you know. I have to look it up. What uh, the scholars say? Hmm. Well, I'm showing you the scholars, my friend. I mean, come on. You have to look up what the score is. Uh, uh, this is a big yeah, theory. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, I have more trust about modern scores than uh, than old uh, old scores. Hmm. You, you trust modern st because, scholars? Because 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 uh, because uh, modern uh, scholars they have no excuse. No, See? modern scholars they fabricate. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, modern scholars, no. no, 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 my friend, my friend. There is nothing that's called modern scholars first. Let me tell you why. Because in order to be a scholar, you have to learn from those as scholars. When you go to school, I have, I have a degree in Islamic law. So what we, what they teach us when we study Sharia? They teach us this. They teach us, uh, this guy say, this guy say, why? Because those are the ones we can learn from them. We don't learn from the teacher. The teacher who have a PhD, who is my teacher, he is not... Uh, is not used as a reference because he's no one, even though he have a PhD. We have to use trustworthy scholars in the history of Islam. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is no one compared to the rest. There's, there is way higher, so Ibn Abbas, etc. Yeah, okay. We can go to at tabari You wanted to go to at tabari Yes, I just want to see what he says about that. A tabari is even, I mean, the tabari always like, uh, I, I advise you not to go to a tabari. <laughs> in, in a tabari, you see all the, I mean, you see, the Muslims, they try to avoid always a tabari because a tabari, supposedly he filter a lot of the garbage exists in Islamic books, but he have still a lot exposing Islam there. That's why you see the Muslims, they try to say a tabari was a historian, he is not a scholar. But the fact he is the scholar of the scholars. So you mean that he is more uh, logic? No, no, he is not. He's, you know, Tabari is just uh, he's putting things mostly, most of the time, as he heard, as he learned. As, as, they, as they are. Yeah, yeah. He is just reporting okay. what 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 they say. You know. So. Okay. So 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 he is more trustworthy than the others. No, if, no problem. Okay, takes... but you see, the problem is. Uh, you Muslims, you choose who is trustworthy, depending on what he's saying. If I go right now to At-Tabari, do you accept him? Huh? Do you accept At-Tabari? Uh, I accept it if, if, if my mind accepts it. If, see, uh, here, mind here we go. It. So you Muslims, you, you pick up your cherries, you like, well, you know, you, you choose what you like, you refuse what you like. Oh, no, so, no, no, yeah, no. You, you, you uh, just, I choose what you like. You, you just, you just, just said, okay, this is a tabari, my friend. You speak Arabic, right? If, 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 if he has my friend, what, what, what I should call you? What I should call you? What, <laughs> give, give me a name, what I should call you. You don't need to, need to give your name, name, I don't care. Call you what? Don't call me Ahmad? Joe. Huh? Call me Lou. Joe? Joe? Lou, Lou. Oh, Lou, Lou. Yes. Oh, la, la. Okay. Look at this. This is, this is a tabari. This is a tabari. This is your request. Remember, that's not my request. Can you read with me and translate? يقول خرج من بين ذلك ومعنى الكلام منهما قال فقال بعضهم الترائب موقع قلادة من صدر المرأة دي يسير and if you go down here it says يقول من بين ثدي المرأة so the sperm of the woman coming from between the two breasts of the woman okay. hmm. so what we will do now you are, the, you are the one who asked me to go at Tabari I advise you not to go there because at Tabari will hurt you more here we go. We are at Tabari. Here we go. No, Look what he no, says. No. وقال إكرمة. إكرمة. He says. قال صلب الرجل وطرائب المرأة. Okay, I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, scared or something. I'm looking. Even even me, I don't know what uh, what uh, Tabari said about that. I just want to 
the My friend, no problem. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to help you. I'm saying. I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you that a Muslim usually try to escape. He jumped to a different place. No, but it's here we go. Yeah. Okay. But why? Why, why you said a tabari, not a mikathi? What? What? What difference going to make for you? I mean, why? No, no, no. I didn't say nothing. When you, hmm. I just want to, to see another hmm. another person what to say about that. Yeah. Hmm. So what we will do now? What do you think? How this is, can be true? If I am you, I will leave Islam, and this is not, this is going to be from God. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to offend you. I don't want to insult your God. His name is Allah. But obviously, for me, yeah, this is not this is not God. This is a fraud. And Muhammad is making things up, cla claiming that God told him this. He's trying to make up like a, a saja. You know, the saja, right? Which is a stupid a, a way of talking. And he is, you know, it's like poet. Yeah. It's not a poet. You know, it doesn't go to the poet. Poet is very high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think mm. like it's, a rhyme, it's, a rhyme. it's like a rap, exactly. Yeah. So he's trying to put the word together to make a rap, and by doing that, he he got he got into trouble. Yeah, you know, he put the, I yeah. The, uh, rhymes. Mm. So what we will do now? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, we. I, I know. If if I am you, I will leave Islam. You know, I I can I can feel that you are a person who is decent. And you are thinking carefully, you know, and you will not accept this. So if I am you, you are an Arab, or, I mean, you speak Arabic very well, and you read English, you speak English, we show the reference in the screen. You have an advantage over others because you speak, you, you read the original language, and it shows what, what you shows you, and this is what this is what Islam is about. And now the new scholars, they try to cover this, but but the Taraib, the Taraib is Taraib al Mura, you know, it's the. the what, you what, know. What, what can you scholars say about it? There's nothing called new scholars. I mean, what they will say? What they will say? What they, what, they, what they can say, my friend? I mean, this is Quran. So, a new scholar first does not exist. There's nothing is called a new scholar. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, forget about the name scholar or something. I mean, a new my, my friend, my friend, when you read something, when you read something, how you support it? You support it by two things: <clears throat> the language and the hadith. Correct? Yes. Which means, if Muhammad explained this, that means we take what Muhammad said to because it's confirmed. If it doesn't confirm, this is a different story, <coughs> right? But the hadith confirmed this. Let me show you this hadith. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me. Let me. Hold, hold on. Let me show you this. Do you see this hadith in front of you? It says Sahih. Very authentic. Read for us. I don't know, you want to show it in English or in Arabic? Doesn't matter really. Read for us, go ahead. I don't see it yet. So Muhammad he confirmed here that women have a water, men have a water, yeah. and without this water, Actually, uh, yeah. hmm, without the water, the child will not have, uh, exist. And it is a reason to resemble the parent, which means I can show you the hadith says uh, which means became a male. If it, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a male. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. So here, look what we're prophesying. 
that women she have a sperm which is white which is sorry uh, thin and yellow and the man have a sperm which is uh, thick and white and whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents this is garbage and you know that What do you think? Okay, I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking uh, right now if uh, if the orgasm can uh, or if there is studies that uh, that says that. Uh, oh, you are searching Google now to find if this is. Of course. Of course. <laughs> my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My friend, my friend. Uh, Women, 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 she listen, can, listen, my friend, my friend. Listen, listen, don't, don't say that. No one has all the knowledge. No I'm not saying that, that, but this is silly, my friend. Like, you can search Google. You see, I will okay, give you one okay, year from okay, now. Okay, okay. The first, the first, the first uh, uh, result that I get here. Hmm. Babies, John, that determine by one of them's organ, says expert. Hmm. By what? I'm looking at the first drink here. Yeah. Mm. Thought, Read for us, go ahead. If there is, if there is studies that... Mm. Everybody agree that the gender decide by the, the, the type of the semen which is fertilizing the egg. So if it's a male it's going to be a male, it's a female, it's going to be a female. What your prophet saying, this is gushing forth fluid coming out of the private part. This is absolutely false. And he is making it so clear. He called the women water thin and yellow. Okay, okay, mm. okay, my friend. Mm. So I'm looking if there are studies that uh, mm. confirm that or deny that. Mm. Okay, the first, the first link that I got here, mm. it says, mm. it says baby's gender is uh, determined, but woman's organ, orgasm says expert, mm. and it says she said that the orgasm woman experienced. Uh, no, not not here. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um. Okay, it says other than that, orgasm experienced but by, by, by woman during an intercourse with a partner can determine the gender of the baby. Mm. Okay, so... So, is it the science saying that the one who comes first will determine the, no, the gender? So your just, prophet... Just, my friend, just, no, my prophet, listen, listen. This your is just your prophet so made it clear. No, listen, no, listen, listen. You know... Yes. A science, there's tons of pages, there's doctors, they are listening, people will laugh at us if we say something stupid. Uh, have, this is have nothing to do with the gender who comes first, this is number one. That is the most silly argument ever. Actually, most of women in the Middle East, they never come even, because the women are circumcised in the, in the Middle East, which means they will never have orgasm. They don't even feel anything. So what your prophet is talking about is silly and stupid. Who comes first will make the baby look like the father or the mother. Secondly, he described the reason for the creation of the baby is the yellow, okay, okay. the yellow water which okay. is appearing in the women' private part. This is something come out. It's gushing yeah, forth. You know that. You know that. Yeah. You know. You know what? What? But even. Mm, what even? Even. 
even me, I don't believe that. Mm. I don't believe that. Okay, uh, I want you to read this hadith for me because this hadith, this hadith will help you more. What do you think if we read this one? As an example. Which hadith? Here we go. I want you to read for me. Ummu Salama told how Ummu Salim said, Messenger of, uh, of Allah. I don't, I, I don't see. Allah is not ashamed of the truth is going to come to you. Is any washing necessarily for a woman when she has a sexual dream? He replied, yes. When she sees signs of liquid, signs of liquid, she, you wash what? Wash her private part, correct? We agree? You cannot wash your womb. When she sees signs of liquid, yes. Hmm, okay, so she is talking about washing her private part. This woman, she got horny at night and she did something to herself. So now, She's asking the Prophet of Allah because the Prophet of Allah is sexual consultant in Mecca. For women, is it okay, is it necessary for a woman to wash if she has a sexual dream? He said yes. When she sees a sign of a liquid, Umm Salama, the wife of your Prophet, said, covered her face. Okay. She's shy and she said, huh, "Does that woman have a sexual dream?" You know, actually, this is not what is said. This uh, this is not. Uh, this is not really. It says "awatahtadimulmara," which means she have orgasm. The translation translator is a, is a stupid. Tahtalim, you know what tahtalim, right? You know what tahtilam, tahtilam, tahtilam is orgasm. So yeah. So the translation is false. Not sexual dream. She uh, she have orgasm. So imagine the wife of your prophet. She never have orgasm. She's asking Muhammad, do women have orgasm? Do women even come? <laughs> That's me, Muhammad. He never made her come. He replied, "Of course she does. In what way does the, her child resemble her?" <laughs> so why the, the child will resemble the woman then? Because she have orgasm. That's what your prophet is saying. And by the way, this is Sahih. Look what it says in Arabic here. الحكم متفق عليه صحيح. You see it? So, so he says that if, if hmm. she has an orgasm, the, the child will not resemble her. If she have orgasm first, the baby will uh, be a female. If, the, if, if he have orgasm, the baby will be look like the father and he will be male. And as you see here, it says, وزاد مسلم برواية أم سليم إن ماء الرجل غليظ أبيض وماء المرأة رقيق أصفر فمن أيهما على أو سبق يكون منه الشبه Here we go. So what is in the Quran confirming the Hadith and this is always stupid. And it is Sahih, it is accurate. So what we will do now, my friend? I see, all of them, they are Sahih. Sahih. And here, just to make it clear, because some Muslims, they will say, oh, this is about the look, it's not about male and female. No, look at this. Here we go. You see, you speak Arabic, and they will take advantage of your speaking Arabic. It says here that the Prophet said, ما الرجل أبيض وما المرأة أصفر فإذا اجتمعا فعلى مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله أذكر What أذكر mean? Became a male, correct? Okay. وإذا على مني المرأة مني الرجل أنثى بإذن الله أنثى what أنثى mean female correct okay so your prophet is saying that if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and he described them that the women liquid which is shown in her private part that is a gushing forth liquid that will make the baby and this is always a garbage because women the, the liquid she have in her private part have nothing to do with having a child
That's absolutely false. And look here what the Muslim they add in the translation, guys. Look at this. They are adding between two brackets the chromosome and genes. What's a chromosome? It's a it's a yellow. The chromosome is yellow. I mean, look at the stupidity when they try to cover a lie. The guy he just said the man have a sperm is white and the women have a sperm is yellow. And then you say chromosome. Can you show, can you show it in English? Yeah, it says a chromosome. Look, they added a chromosome there to cover. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, you believe it? To cover the stupidity of Muhammad, they say chromosome. This is about chromosome. It's about washing a vagina. A, a water appear in her private part. It's yellow and thin gushing forth. This is the chromosome. To cover the, 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 the stupidity, they add words which yeah, is not this there. Is yes, this is odd. This is wrong, I right? Didn't, didn't say that in, in Arabic. It's not in Arabic, it's a stupid, and this is not what the Arabic is saying. Hmm. And, and, and just to show you how stupid it is, it says here, created by Allah degree. How do you say if he come first, the baby will be a boy, and then he created by Allah degree? Look, look, and the substance contributed by the male and female child is formed by the decree of Allah. How decree by Allah, but the man he decide or the women who ever have orgasm first? You know, I, I will tell you a secret, but don't, don't tell anyone, you know. I don't look good, you know, I look really bad. So if I get married, God forbid, I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my children to look like me. Because I learned from the prophet now, that the one who comes first, the child will look like him or like her. So I will make it clear always. I will make agreement with my future wife. Uh, you come always. I will never come. You know, I don't because I don't want my kid. My my son will shoot me if he look like me. You know, from the first day, you go to the mirror like what? What you did to me? He will grab one of my guns and shoot me. And it's not fair. I mean, it's not my fault. So what do you think, my friend? Are you going to leave Islam today or not? What do you mean you don't know? You know, you are a smart person. You don't fit there. Do you really belong to this, you know, with my respect to you, my friend, do you belong to this garbage? This is garbage. This is not God. I mean, what kind of God? You don't know even how the baby is made. A different verse in the Quran, Allah, he says, that the baby, the sperm of the man, became a congealed blood. How in the world the sperm became a blood, dead blood? What do you think? According to the Quran, the first stage is sperm and then خلق الإنسان من علق. Hmm? Read this verse. Read, read this verse with me so we can love together. This is a very famous verse. The Muslims use it to prove a scientific in the Quran. No. Okay. No scientific. All right. Let us see. Uh, You can read in Arabic. <laughs> Look at this. Then we, then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. How the sperm became a congealed blood? So the first stage, according to the God of Islam, the sperm itself will become a congealed blood and that will make a baby. Where is the woman thing? And look, here the Muslim, they add, then of that clot, we made a photos. Hmm. Photos doesn't say that. You know? It says lump. Yeah. So how the sperm became a dead blood? 
since when did the blood is is going to grow? It's it's dead actually. The second you say congeal, yeah. It's not only blood. No, it's a blood. my friend. I can show you right now from the dictionary. ثم خلقنا النطفة علقة فخلقنا العلقة مضغة فخلقنا المضغة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما. That is the most stupid thing ever. Do you want to show your tabari again? <laughs> yeah, but this is stupid. It's obvious, you know. Alaqa, uh, when you injure yourself, a, a, a blood will be dry in your skin to 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 stop the bleeding, correct? But this is the blood that they will grow, you know. And after some time, when the skin is healed. That that blood will be dry, will go out, you know, will 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 we we'll can't take it from your skin. What kind of God? You do not know how the baby is made. So. Uh, this is chapter 33, verse number 14. And this is, here we go, I will show you dictionary. This is the dictionary. <laughs> and he continue after that and this is mentioned in the chapter in the Quran etc etc okay how this can be true it says here this is dictionary this is uh, this is our Arabic dictionary it says a piece of a, a thick blood and it is jammed solid does it say jammed Okay, so jamid is solid. It's, this is dead blood. I mean, how in the world the dead blood? It's a solid blood. No, jamid doesn't mean uh, uh, dead. It's dead. It, this is why it's jamid, my friend. Jamid, uh, jamid means uh, so, uh, it's. Uh, <clears throat> okay, what jamid mean? Tell me what jamid means. It's uh, solid cold. Thank you. Okay, so the blood will not become solid unless it is dead. As simple as that. This is why people they die because of heart attack. When, when, when a piece of a, a blood block their their uh, uh, like uh, the 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 the, uh, the 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 rain of blood oh. into the heart. But but here here it's. Uh... It's before before it's, it's it even starts running. Yeah, but here it says the sperm became a dead blood. But the, how the sperm became a dead blood? Okay, how the sperm became a solid blood? Forget about dead. But you can go right now and search for congealed blood. You will find congealed blood is dead blood. Congealed blood is the dead the, the, when you when you cut yourself. If you if you have a cut in your hand or foot, whatever, the blood will come out will make you know if you cover it for some time the bleeding will stop and then a blood spot will cover all the, uh, over the, the the injury and will make like a, let us say uh, a batch for your skin and it's recover yes, yes. yeah yes. this is the, the blood it's not a, it's not even blood it's dead but but, but uh, because you are already mad 
and, and then here it's it, it talks uh, before, before. No, no, you see, it doesn't matter. The, we are talking about the blood. It doesn't matter if it, before or after. This is a blood. When you say a blood, the blood is ha having oh, one no. nature. It's a blood. The baby, the baby. Uh, it's doesn't matter. Before, it's a blood. Before, is it a blo is it, blood? Stuff. My friend. Is it a blood it's, or it's is, it, it, is it a blood or not? It's blood. Okay, blood doesn't matter if it's a baby or adult. It's a blood. Yes, but because hmm. uh, before before the, the blood starts running, hmm. how is it? This is not a question. Yeah. How in the world the sperm itself became a blood, and then you, all of you, became a blood, and then from the blood you became, you have a heart, and you have. This is what science says. Why you don't search right now in Google and start find if there is any, any, my friend. Uh, can you find me one, one, only one, one scientific book saying that the sperm will became a blood? The the, the first stage is a semen, and then the semen. We became blood. Can you show me that? One scientist in but, the world says but, that. But everything, everything in the in, in human body comes mm. from the sperm and. Uh, no, the, that's uh, not true. That's that's not true. No, you, not, uh, no, 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 no. You see, the semen when it goes to the woman, it fertilizes and delivers the DNA of the man. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a DNA. There's no blood. Then we have the egg of the woman. And the egg of the woman will start splitting and organizing or organs by, by time. So what the Quran is speaking about, first of all here, we notice that the, the, the women uh, egg does not exist in the Quran. We have a water which is thin and yellow, and the woman, she have to wash her private part when she see it. Remember, right? This is the gushing for the fluid coming from the ribs. And now we have the sperm of the man, which is coming from the backbone, according to the Quran, became a congealed blood. How do you say uh, boy uh, in, in English? How do you say boy in English? You just uh, say, you just no, did. no, boy, 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 egg, nice. egg, it's an egg, it's an egg. You see, here we say it, look, look what they say. Then we made the sperm into a, a clot of a congealed blood. So, what is the trans what the transformation start from what from a sperm into the into a blood? There's no other thing. And then we made this the clot, the congealed blood, into a clot. And then we made the clot into a lump. And then we made out of the lump bones and clothed the bones with the flesh. So from the beginning to the end, we have only sperm, then blood, then a clot, then lump, and then from the lump, we made bones. And then we closed the bones. So according to the Quran, the sperm became bones. The sperm became blood. Actually, for me, the, big, the biggest problem is in the last sentence. What is the last sentence? We close the, the bones? Yes, with flesh. Hmm. But here there is no, there is there's bigger problem, my friend. Do you see here it says, فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ don't you see a problem here too? Big problem. The best to create. No, not the best to create. You see the line in the translation. Look, there's here it says the best to create. Yeah. But in Arabic it says yeah. the best of the best. It does not the best. It's Okay, what al mean? al what al mean? The creators. Cre creators. How Allah is yes. the best of the creators if He's the only creator? Actually, I have a, I have even, I have something about that, the last verse. Hmm. I've heard something about this verse. Yeah, this is a guy, who, he is, the, he is not, the one, Abdullah ibn, not him. Yeah, Abdullah ibn Sarah, yes, Abdullah ibn Sarah is the one who made this verse. 
Muhammad the Adam the Quran, he said to him, put it there, put it there. But I'm the one who said that. He said, Allahu awha ilayhi kama awha ilayhi. <laughs> and here you notice, if you change the translator, look how the Muslims, you know, they, they uh, I'm not talking about you as a Muslim, I'm talking about those who translate. They fabricate the translation to cover a problem. Look, from the creators, they make it to create. But we change the translator here. Look what happened. The best of the creators. How the Muslim, they keep saying we are worshiping the Tawheed and the only God. And now we see that he is the best of the creators. You see? Uh, uh, listen. If I say if, if if I say to you I am the best student in my classroom, and then later you find that I was the only student in that classroom, don't you think I was lying to you, misleading you? You know what I mean? Because when I say I'm the best student between the students, and there's no student, that's I did lie to you. So here Allah. <laughs> If he is uh, uh, saying that such a statement, he admitted that there's a creators, and he's not the only one, is God. It could be just a way to, uh, to, glor to glorify. Uh, okay, how you glorify by lying? I mean, when you say I am the best of the creators, that's a lie because there's no other creators you are lying you are exaggerating with your lie you are confirming that there is a creators when there's none so when you say I'm the best of the creators and there's no others that's stupid and it's a lie you, you don't you don't glorify yourself by lying so, what the point of this statement? To say to me, Allah is the best of, a cre of, 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 of the creators, but there's no other creators. Okay, I'm looking this verse in uh, in French. I'm looking at uh, why uh, why you need it in French if you have it in in Arabic? Because because, because I understand French. Uh, okay, I will I will I will, uh, I will look for it in French. Hold on, let, let me see. Not in English. I will see to say it in France, French language. Let's actually, see. actually. Let us see where we can find the French, French, French. Where is the French language Quran? I'm sure they lie, you know, in the translation too. Yes. They, hmm. they said word that no words that it that uh, it didn't say in Arabic. Doesn't say creator, right? The creators. No, uh, from the beginning it says it says nous avons fait du sperme une adhérence. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't speak it, French. It, it translated uh, the blood with adherence. Hmm. So they changed the whole translation. Yes. Hmm. So yeah, I see here. As usual, I'm not surprised. I mean, everything they tried to cover the stupidity of the Quran by fabricating. So now anyone who will speak of French. This is why I need to finish my Quran translation and then later we will ask people to translate to their own language my translation so people they can get an honest, clear translation. Yes, it says in the Quran, it doesn't say in adherence. It's just a word that they come up from their mind. This evening, this is the method of Islam. There is, there, uh, actually, there is no, uh, no mention of, uh, about blood here. See? Yeah, the blood is gone. Okay, that's good. It's so gone. now, so now, if you if you are a French, you don't speak Arabic, you read it, you think, okay, there's nothing wrong there. This is the whole purpose of false translation. Yeah. So what do you think, my friend? After all of this, is it time for you to leave this this call? <laughs> No, you don't leave. Want want to leave us now, huh? I'm, uh, I'm reading it again. Okay. 
with the sea in Indonesian language what they are saying. I bet you they, they are lying there too. They lie in all languages when they translate to cover the, the stupidity. Uh, Indonesian, here we go. Okay, and the issue is okay, okay, okay. I think I was wrong here. Huh? Okay, Alaka, they don't translate it Alaka with. My friend, forget about translation now. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic, the problem is solved, okay, correct? Okay, okay, okay. We do not okay. need... Yeah, I think I was wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking advantage. Yeah, you know, you should take advantage if you speak in Arabic. But it's translation. Yeah, I showed you, the, I showed you, I showed you the dictionary, correct? It says, here we go, this is the dictionary. Alaqa, alaqa, fi ilm al-tashriyih, alaqa, min damin ghadidin jamid, According to what? According to the Quran. Al-Alaqa ism, Al-Alaq, even there is a chapter in the Quran. Al-Alaq ism surah min surah al-Quran al-Kareem. Right? So we have a dictionary. You speak Arabic. Yeah, so what we will do? I mean, it's not only one place. I mean, every every single word we read in those verses are wrong. Until now, since we you call me, until now, if there is something accurate, nothing. Not a single one. It's a joke. And yet they say to us, this is uh, the book of God. And look, look here, this guy. Then we made the nutfa into a clot. Uh, let me ask you, do you know what nutfa means? Yes. Hmm. Nutfa, how many sperm inside the nutfa? Millions. Yes. Yeah. Okay, how, how millions of sperm became uh, semen, be, became uh, be, became a, a, a baby. <laughs> nutfa is not one semen. It's a drop. It's a drop of sperm and that mean your god saying we made the nutfa a drop of semen into the whole of it all the drop make it's not a, not a semen it's a drop of semen that another mistake too So what do you think? Yeah, it doesn't have to be specific here or detailed. When it says not for, it, says, it doesn't have to, to talk uh, to detail. My friend, my friend, okay, hold on, hold on, listen, 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 I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know how old are you, my friend, it says not far, all of it became a cloud, does it, is it, does it say that? No, no, it doesn't, where, no, it make it clear, listen, then we made the not what he made, he made the not he did not need to make a semen, he made the not and the not is a drop, a drop, it's not one individual semen, we can go to the dictionary right now. It's a drop of, of, of semen, have millions. According to your God, we made the nutfa, all the nutfa, not only from the nutfa we made a, a baby, no. The nutfa itself transformed into a clot of a piece of a thick, complicated blood.
I mean, the, the more you, you read deeper, the more you find every, every single word is stupid there. When it says, then we close the bones with flesh, that's a problem. My friend, for me, everything there is a problem. Let's be honest together. Everything is a problem. Only here is a problem? No. This is here. The Nusfa became a, a, a blood, that's stupid. Then we made the blood into a clot, that is more stupid. And then we made the clot into a lump, that is, make it more horrible. And then we made, a, 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 out of the little lump, a, a, a bone. So until now there's no heart, there's no uh, nothing. There's all, This is the almost the last stage of the baby creation. And what, what we have, we have a, a, a bones. We have just the bones inside the women, you know, bones, just bones. And then after that, we close the bones with the flesh. So according to the Quran, all the flesh, all the flesh, and this, remember here, this is God talking. This is God talking. It's not like somebody making a meditation, saying, God, he closed my bones, God, etc. I accept that, no problem. But this is God explaining to us supposedly by stages is not a person saying god he you know he closed my bones with the flesh a god he gave me heart a god etc no this is what we made how we made you look and indeed we created the man supposedly talking about the first one from a clay and then and therefore and then he says <laughs> and look what the translator he said here it's a mixed drop of male and female sexual discharge do you see it <laughs> <laughs> Let me see this translation of who, hold on. This is translation of Hilali and Khan, Hilali and Khan. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Hmm. So? You know, if all of this did not make you leave Islam, it's mean that there's something wrong with you, with my respect to you. You are trying just to make it impossible to leave. You don't want to leave because there's something else, something else. I don't understand. But there's no way, after all what you saw, you are not seeing the truth. It's impossible. Just about uh, modern terminology. This is this is modern terminology. This is modern for you. Yes. This is sound modern for you. No, 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 oh. no. Uh, not for when you say not for. Hmm. It's a drop of of liquid. Not for is a drop of liquid. When you speak about not for, when you come to the man, you are talking about a sperm. So it's a drop of liquid. Have According to science, a drop of sperm is millions of a sperm. Okay, I don't want to say something that uh, that, uh, that I don't know, so so I have to look it up in detail. Well, we did, we did. All right, my friend, I'm not going to force you to leave Islam if you don't want to, but I believe in your heart, you know that this is garbage. True? or not in your heart you know this is wrong if if it's if it's really how how i understand it right now there is a pro problem yes okay so why i mean the problem is exist and how you can solve it you stay following such a 
you know, with such a. I have to confirm that. We confirm that. We can, my friend. So I am with you. I am with you for how long now? More than more than an hour. Did I confirm everything I show you or not? And now you can go to any uh, uh, like you, you can go right now. Search embryo stages. Embryo stages. You will find that none of the stages of the embryo is what he's talking about. Okay. Is there any other thing, not scientific? I mean, uh, something oh, I have to say that in English. Uh, Okay, let me ask you. So, you, yes. are, you, you are trying to say if there's anything like contradiction, maybe? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, contradiction. Do you or, think uh, the, immoral thing or uh, something? Uh, all the Quran is immoral. All, all the Quran is immoral. You know, all the all of the Quran. Is immoral. Well, well, there's nothing moral in the Quran. Go and take the money of the uh, of someone that's just because you don't believe in Muhammad and you know rape their women. But forget about this. Do you think God he remember which one he created first, or he don't remember? He does. Okay. If we go, I want to show you something here, and you speak Arabic very well, which is very nice. Will help me a lot. Let's see. Chapter 2, verse number 29. Can you tell me what the verse is saying? I will show it to you in Arabic first. Okay, what he created in the in the earth, everything, right? I don't see in the screen. Hmm. Can you put it in Arabic? Yeah, it's in Arabic. Hmm. Okay, based on this yeah. verse, which which one Allah created first? It's the created the earth. First, right? Yes. Okay, so this is chapter 2, verse number 29, remember. Okay, we will go to the different chapter. All right. No, actually, it says, uh, okay, let's see it before. No, no, make it clear what, what it says. It says here, it says, everything that. Right, right. Okay. Uh, is on earth. Okay, it's, it's created. Then he went to the sky and he made them seven sky, correct? Yes. Okay, so let us say finishing the sky was happened, done after finishing all the earth, correct? All that uh, is on earth, ma'afil earth. Jami'an. When it says ma'afil earth, it means all that is on earth. All right, exactly. Jami'an, which means there's uh, nothing put, left. Uh, I mean, uh, create, uh, I mean, animals, uh, create everything. Okay. Everything and then, earth, earth. okay, and then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies. So making seven sky happen after creating everything in the earth, correct? Yes. Okay. So this is confirmed. Let us go to the front verse. Okay. This is chapter 79. And we can read from verse, any verse. You can read from the beginning if you want. But let us see here, a verse starting from where he speaks about creation of the earth and the heaven. In verse number 27, he says, Are you more difficult? Antum ashad khalqan am samau banaha rafa'a simkuha wa fasawaha wa aghtasha raydaha wa akhraja duhaha wal ardu ba'da dhalika dahaha English, Are you difficult to create or heaven? He constructed, he raised its uh, uh, masses and proportion and then he dimmed its night and he brought its day, which means he created the sun and the day, etc. So this is the first. And then, and after that, he created the earth. 
Okay, let's go, let's stop here. Let's stop here. Yeah. In verse number two, you remember, you, you are the one who agree with me, that Allah, he finished first everything in the earth, and he went to heaven and he made it seven, correct? Yeah. Okay, here is saying the opposite. He finished everything in the sky. He made day and night light. And then after that, he go back to work in the earth. And after that, he spread the earth. He made it flat. Actually, the, earth, the word ha means flat. And then from it, he produced water and pasture. This is after. And then he placed mountains. And the mountains. Okay, so how this is what kind of God? You didn't remember which one first. In one ch one chapter, he says that first he made everything on earth, and then he went to the heaven, and he made them seven heaven. And this is chapter two, verse number twenty nine. And then in the other chapter, he says, which one is difficult? Making the heaven and construct it. He raised it above, and he gave it proportion, and then he. Uh, gave it the light, which means the sun, and etc. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And the from and now he continued. What after he made the earth flat? Then he made the water coming out. And then he put the mountains. So the last thing was done. It was the earth. Very simple. Can you can you go down a little? No problem. We go, we go as much as you want. But the rest is not really. They have nothing to do. After that, he speak about the judgment day, etc. So, so okay. when he says a source of enjoyment for you and for your animals, so he is assuming that animals were already created. Yeah, you see, this is the earth, yes. my friend. The, yeah. the verse before it says, so, Animals, grass, trees, everything. So, which one of them is the accurate? There's no way God, you don't remember which one he created first, the sky. He finished the sky first, or he finished the earth first. And not only that, we're not done. Hold on. You think we are done? The, the, stupid, the stupidity continue. Hold on. We are not done. If you go, the, the verse here we are showing you, this is chapter 2, verse number 29, and this verse here is a chapter 79, verse number 32. But what if we go to this chapter? Let us see. And then people will start laughing, and you will start laughing too. Huh. Read with me. This is chapter 41. Do you do you reject do you reject the one who created the earth in two days, and you attribute equal to him? And then he continue. He placed stabilized mountain. By the way, it doesn't say uh, stabilized mountain. It says in translation is fine. He placed mountains in the top of it. This translation is horrible. Let's see different stupid translation. Hmm. He set on earth mountains standing firm high above. So the first thing is what? He created the earth in two days. And then, second, he put in the top of the earth mountains standing firm high above and bestowed the blessing on the earth and the measure of things, all things given, no measurement due to proportion in four days, the total is six days. This is the first stupid thing. Two days plus four, that is six. But according to the Quran, different verses, Allah, he finished everything in seven, in seven days, in six days, not only the earth. So now he says, and look how they, they, they lie. They say here, moreover, but in Arabic it says, Thumma stawa ila sama. What thumma mean? Thumma mean? After that. Not only after, way after. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So they lie in the translation, they say, moreover. If you change the translator, you will see, he changed it, you know, the bend in the liar. Look here, this is Muhammad Biktal. Then he turned, turned he to the heaven. Okay, so hold on. So here, according to here, the earth was created first, 
and everything in the top of it. He placed mountains. This is second option. And then after that, he made uh, 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 like substance, gr grass, trees, animals, etc. And then after that, he went to the sky and it was a smoke. And after that, he made the heaven, seven heaven in two days. So two days to make the heaven, four days to make the earth and substance, uh, 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 sorry, mountains and substance, and two days to create the earth. This is total of eight days. This is contradiction number one, number one. Secondly, now, based on this chapter, Allah, he finished the earth first in two days, everything on top of the earth in four days. And then after that, he went to the heaven and it was a smoke, which means it was nothing, empty. And then he told the earth and the heaven to obey him willingly or to come to him. And then after that, he ordained the seven heavens. So the last thing in this chapter, Allah, he created the, uh, made the seven heavens. And then after that, uh, he made lamps. You see it? So according to this chapter, the last, the last thing Allah he did, supposedly, Allah created the stars, including the sun. Yeah. Okay. In this chapter here, chapter 40 chapter 41 this is not what happened it's the opposite read carefully are you more difficult to create the, the uh, uh, or the heaven he constructed he raised masses of proportion on it and he dimmed the night and the brought the day so it was a stage number three in the sky and then after that he worked in the earth i mean how, how clear we can make it <laughs> more than this <laughs> Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he created first. In one chapter, he says he created the roof before the walls and the floor. The other chapter, he says, I created the roof before the walls and the floor. <clears throat> I hear you. You are breathing heavily. No, you are not thinking. You are living Islam. I believe that you are. You made the sin already. You are not thinking. You know it. I will be sincere with you here. Yeah. What I see. I see someone who doesn't remember. Exactly. Okay. Do, do you know? In what period these uh, these verses are they distinguished in time between them? I understand. Say again. Uh, all these verses. Well, I mean, what do you want more, my friend? You see, I'm I'm really being so patient with you, hoping that you will be honest with yourself. I don't want you to be, you know. I, I mean, this is about you. I don't really care. You stay as a Muslim, yeah. you want to stay Muslim, it's your business. Uh, for me, I do my part. But be honest with me. Isn't it, this is, cannot be from God? Isn't it the Quran says, you know, you found a lot of uh, differentiation in it. So even the Quran says, if you if this is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. The sun is gone. Okay. So the one who made the book, he says to you, "Afala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an? Law kana min 'andi ghayr Allah, la wajadu fihi ikhtilafan kathira." Correct? Yeah. So he gave you the rule, and the rule is clear. If this is not from the God, <coughs> who his name is Allah, you will find a lot of stupid things, messed up. 
And since you call me until now, we saw, we did not find one thing is smart. Yeah. I heard you saying yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so you are out of Islam. I'm, I'm someone who. No, you you said yeah. I heard you. No, no, listen, listen, yes, listen, listen. Yes. Okay, you said yes. yeah. So you are out of yes. Islam, my friend. Okay, thank you very much. I am happy for you. This is not. You are a smart person. You don't fit in such a garbage, and this is an insult I'm, to you. I'm someone who has to admit when something doesn't fit with my mind. Exactly, and that's why I'm I'm being patient with you. You There's see, many when I when I find somebody, but I'm not logic. Yeah. I have patience with you because I notice that you are decent, and you are not here to play games and you know deny even what is so clear. So. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm listening. Uh, it's not easy to leave a religion. You grow up in it. You, you know, you, you, this is what your parents taught you that this is from God, etc. It's not easy, and I respect your decency. And I know that it's, you know, like now you are. I know what what's happening to you. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's not a religion which we should follow. It should we should follow the truth. It doesn't matter what it is. The yeah, truth, you know. That's my that's my guideline. Exactly. So, so how we can how this is can be from God? This is no way come from God. So Muhammad is a fraud, obviously. Now you know. For me, my name is a Christian prince. You know that, right? Yeah. And a Christian prince mean that a Christian is going to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. What do you think? What do you think of the Messiah? As long as you decide to leave Islam now, we are so happy for you. I praise the Lord that he, you called me today. But I, I, will... don't know. Hmm. I don't know much about it. Okay, what do you... But, but... So I can't, I hmm. can't. Okay, let us do this. Take, uh, what about, what about you, you call me some other time, you know, you take your time to read more about Christ, you know, about his teaching. Uh, 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 what about if I, you know, like, uh, um, you know, like, I, I, did, did you ever have a Bible in your home? No, but uh, everything is on internet. Exactly. But I mean, have you ever read anything about the Bible? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Not a lot, but I have some basic uh, knowledge hmm. all right well you know uh, I'm not going to tell you where, where you start but you can go and start reading from any of the four Gospels which is written by four uh, of our church leader about what Christ he did what Christ yeah. he said and you will notice my friend how amazing God is not about making uh, poetry or making a rap, which is silly, as you see in Arabic. God is about being God, which means being almighty. And almighty, number one thing to be almighty is to forgive those who hurt you. That is almighty. Jesus in the cross, when people, they were crucifying him, says forgive them father they do not know what they are doing that is almighty almighty love almighty wisdom and look what what, what the messiah he did <clears throat> christians today are more way more than three billion and now if the messiah did not say forgive them father they do not know what doing some who call themselves a christian they might go after the jews to kill them which is wrong but the Messiah, he did say, forgive them, Father. So even when he is in the cross, he is thinking of you and me. What will happen to us after? That is God. You see, when, 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 the, when the Muslim, they come to us with the Quran, scientific miracle, and then we study, we find that all of it is rubbish and stupid. We find that the Quran is, a, is, an, is an empty book. There's nothing there, nothing real. It's just a, a, you know, a collection of stupid stories like Al-Khudr. Uh, the the guy who drank from the fountain of youth and because of that he never died 
Do you know that al Khadr he was in the funeral of uh, Noah? He was in the funeral of Abraham. He was the funeral of Muhammad. <laughs> you know why they call him al Khadr, right? It uh, means green. Yeah, green. But do you know why they call him al Khadr? I don't know. This guy, he drank from a fountain, which this fountain, whoever drank from it, he will come back to life. In Arabic, we call it Ma'ul Hayat. You heard of this before? Yeah. Okay, the water of life. So he drank from a fountain, it's called the fountain of life. And Actually, I heard about this story, but not, not in Quran. Or... This is in the Hadith, in the Hadith. You know? Yeah, yeah in the Hadith where, where Allah, he sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr. And no, then, actually, not uh, with Moses or something. Yeah, there's the a story th of uh, Gilgamesh. Water of, uh, I think I heard it. it, it, it yeah, there's uh, there's in the in the heritage of the Persian and the Assyrian stories like that. You know, this is why if you see in the Quran, it says Ma'ul Bahrain, Marjul Bahrain. Do you know why? Do you know why Al Bahrain is mentioned there? Al Bahrain, you know Bahrain. It's mentioned in the Quran. Why? Because supposedly the fountain of youth is there. Is there? Yeah. If you go to chapter eighteen, you know, and then yeah, if you read the chapter there and you read the interpretation, you will see that Allah He sent Musa's to Al Bahrain, Bahrain, which means two seas, and this is where supposedly his 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 whale, which is dead is going to receive some water from the fountain of of, uh, of life and come back to life you know and this is what the hadith confirm too so if we go in the hadith let's see uh, the story of moses here we go here we go you see here we go let, let, me, let me show it to you so you can add this to your knowledge I hope you did enjoy talking to me and you learned something good for your future. Yes. All right. I like a lot, actually. All right. Read with me carefully here. It says, yeah. uh, قال سفيان في حديث etc. قال etc. في أصل الصخرة عين يقال لها ما الحياة. Do you see it? Yeah. لا يصيب من مائها شيء إلا uh, came, you know, came back to life. فأصاب الحوت من ماء تلك العين. قال فتحرك وانسل من المكتل فدخل البحر فلما استيقظ موسى etc. So what they are saying here that there is a fountain of water. It's called the fountain of life. Whoever get in touch with this fountain or spring, he came back to life. Be careful. The spring of water, at the rock there was a water spring called Al-Hayat, the life. And none come in touch with its water, but become alive. And this is where Al-Khadr himself is Al-Khadr, because he, you know, he drink from that water, so he never die. Hmm. This is this is Islam, this is religion. <laughs> what a story. Anyway, my friend. Seems like a legend, yeah. It is a legion. This is the legion exists from the, for the Persian and for the Assyrian in North of Iraq. You know, this is a Actually, very well known. I have, a, uh, I have one final question. Sure, go ahead. You, you mentioned uh, Gilgamesh at one time. Yeah, in Gilgamesh story, uh, looking for the life. Yeah. 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 Are you from uh, the people? Are you from the people of Gilgamesh? No, no. Oh, I have okay. a question about. All right. About uh, Noah's story. All right. Uh, how do you say delusion? Uh, this story I heard it uh, in the, in the. How do you say that? I'm sorry, my English is is very bad. Hmm. No problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, forget about it. All right. No problem. 
All right, my friend. I I'm so glad that you called me, and we have a good time together. Feel free to call me again if any time you wish. I'm happy to talk to you, and I hope soon you will learn more about the gospel, and you will accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Savior. And let me tell you, I don't want you to be a person to accept the Christ because of fear. I want you to accept him because of love. But life is very short. Yesterday I was a kid. Today I am not. And the same for you. Time goes so fast. And the Bible teaches us that there is God, there is heaven, there is hell. And by making a decision, we choose where to go. Now you left Islam. I have my duty to invite you to be saved by the Messiah. I want you to be saved. I want you to be in the right place. So I invite you. I cannot, I cannot push you. I cannot tell you what to do. You are a man. You are smart, intelligent, and very polite. I'm very happy to talk to you. But I hope you will start reading the gospel. And you call me back if you have any questions. And I will be happy to help you. For sure, not today. I mean, take your time. Yeah. You will not be able to read the Bible in two days. Or, you know, you have to take your time. We want, you know, in Christianity, we want believers who knows. Not people say Shahada. We don't care for Shahada. We want a real believer. Not repeat after me. I don't want that. We want someone who speak to the Lord from his heart. And the Lord is always listening. The Lord, he says, knock at my door. I will open for you. So I invite you, my friend, and I pray in front of everybody. I pray to our friend here, which I don't know his name, that the Lord will let him knock on his door and he will open his door for him. The Lord, the Messiah, he says, every two of you mention my name, I will be between you. So right now, as we speak, my friend, the Lord, the Messiah is between us. He's listening. And I am sure if you ask him, he will be with you. He will help you. He said, search for the truth and the truth will set you free. And I pray to the Lord that the Lord will set you free. So you will not be a slave of any false God. And you will not be a slave to anyone. He wants you to be free. Even he don't want you to be a slave of himself. He wants you to be free. That's why we Christians, when we ask the Lord, how we pray, he says, pray like this, our Father out of heaven. Imagine, not our God, our Father. This God is not the same as others who need slavery, who need worshippers. He look at us as a loving Father, and we are his children. So we don't really follow God as much we are following Father. And he is our father for his loving. Father, the first thing, if there's a fire in the house, the father will grab the children first before they get the money, correct? And this is what our father will do. He will grab you to save you. But in order to grab you to save you, you have to say to him, you are my father, save me. And then he will save you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I will be happy to hear you again. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, I lost my voice. I was drinking water. Too much water because... <clears throat> My voice is my, my throat is not really doing good but it's worth it our friend here you know he just uh, uh, needed some let us say uh, some help and we are here to provide the help for him and anyone else it's very important when you speak to somebody to speak with decency and if you are not a person who is willing to speak to me with decency too, there's no point of me and you talking. Because what, are we playing games of you lie to me, I lie to you? This is what usually I notice when I speak to Muslims. But when we see to a Muslim, we, when, when I listen to a Muslim like our, 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 the gentleman who called me today, you can tell he is not calling me to play games. You know, he is discussing with me, he refused, he agree, but you know we are we are going through a process and I understand that in the beginning is going to be hard you know for him to accept but he is decent he see it in the front of his eyes nothing we mention but we show nothing we said but it's their book 
and now it's not his book no more thank god so how he can refuse it it's impossible the only thing i wish that he open his heart to the messiah and i hope he will do that for the messiah is really the best gift we can receive our life i mean look at our life You see, people, they are so much attached to things around them. I mean, it's a, somehow it's a boring life, isn't it? I mean, the same food, the same, etc., the same, etc. I mean, we try to create a joy around us. But when you are in love, with love itself, you are, you are enjoying life. And one of the amazing things about the Messiah, he make you in love with love. Which means you love love for no return. So you walk with this person who is a Muslim. He asked you to, he said hello. We walk with him a thousand foot, a million foot, in order loving to save him. And that is what the Messiah does to us. He makes us enjoy in love, a love nobody can know unless he is a person belong to it. It's the same one of mother, she, you know, she carry a child nine months on her womb and then after that she spent years taking care of him and then after that he became a man and still she is worried about him and then after that he became a man who have a family and he have kids and now she is worried about him and his kids and then after that he have a grandkids and now she is worried about him and his grandkids not only his kids that is love a love which is given by the lord himself so if we cannot reach the point where a good mother, because not all mothers are good, a good mother who is full of love, giving with no return, we cannot know who is a Christ is. I believe one of the miraculous sign of God is what he put inside a female mother. Have you ever seen a cat carrying her babies from a place to place to hide them, to protect them? Have you ever seen a little tiny bird feeding her babies? It's amazing. That is God, my friend. God is not a poetry. God is not scientific miracle. God is not all this garbage trying people to try to attach it to God to make God God. God is love. And the God who is not love is a fraud. If we cannot find love with this God, how we can be God anyway? If an animal, if a cow, she care take care of her babies. A cow. The God of Islam, he don't care for your babies. He wanted to die for him. The God of the Christian, he want to die for us, and he did. The God of Islam, he want you to die for him. He cannot fight the Christian, he cannot fight the Jews, he wants you to fight the Jews, he cannot do it. God is good, God is beautiful, God is a miracle. And Christ, not only he did miracles, he is miracle. He is the miracle itself. So we pray for our friend that soon he will call us and he will say, I accepted the Messiah. We pray that all those who are going to watch this video, they will be more smart and not to follow propaganda machine trying to deceive you. As you see, translation is false. All Islamic translation is nothing but a chain of fabrication. The purpose is one, is to deceive you. As simple as that. Google TV, you want to chat now? I'm, I'm done for today, my friend. I really, I see my, my throat is hurt. And already we are here for a long, how long? I mean, Already we are here for two hours and 20 minutes.
right? <clears throat> uh, I will try to go live on air tomorrow. You know, we will see. You will see the link, uh, especially those who are subscribe in Patreon. Many of you think if you subscribe in Patreon, you have to make donation. No, my friend, our service is for free. You make donation or not, that will not make any difference. Donation is just to support what we do. So subscribe in Patreon, and you will see uh, when I'm going to go live on air. It will be updated because Patreon send you email immediately when I post something there. YouTube don't. Many of you miss the broadcast because you don't receive notification. And obviously they censor. Most of the videos I post on Instagram, they don't even go there. I make a video, I post it. It says this video cannot be posted. Why? Don't ask. All right. So uh, stay updated. And for sure, I want to say thank you for all those who support us. I really appreciate you. And I appreciate that the Lord, he put good hearts between the evil hearts. Because if everything is evil, this earth will be destroyed. The good heart people are the one who is saving this earth. Not by their act. No. God will not destroy it as long as there is some people who they have good hearts. When people who have no heart exist, no good heart exists, or they are became very little tiny minority, then this earth is time for it to be destructed. This is why you will see that heaven and hell, or let us say the judgment day, is not about pre-decided decision God he, he took. It's about us. We decide when the judgment day will come. The more we are corrupt, the more we are false, the more we are far away from God, the faster judgment day will come. The more we are decent, I mean, what judgment day will happen if people are good? Judgment day is a day of anger, a day of calculation, a day there will be questions, what you did. But if you did nothing wrong, what judgment day will never come. Judgment day is going to come. And all those who fabricate lies about the true God, they will pay the high price. And for sure, Muhammad he will be, is going to be the first one to pay for his crimes. Crimes, uh, Patreon is asking for minimum payment, I think five dollars. I don't think so, my friend. There's people, they donate uh, one dollar. That's gonna be true. Secondly, I don't think you have to donate anything. They ask, they say to you, and donate, don't donate. Just ignore it. I don't think that's, that's true. However, there's people that donate only one dollar. And when the day comes for donation, the payment they claim. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, I don't think so. Uh, and in the same time, you see, uh, people who support us, I appreciate them very much. Everybody, we need support. But I am here for free. It doesn't matter if people they support or not. And I don't treat people differently because someone he support me or someone he don't. No. Uh, I believe strongly that there's many who they are even making donation, they are poor. But just because they have a very good heart, they give the little tiny thing, which is a lot for them, by the way. I'm not saying it's little to put down, no. Do you remember the story in the Bible where a woman, she gave little tiny penny? But this penny is equal to millions for some. Why? Because this is everything she has. So we appreciate whoever support, even if it's little tiny. But in the same time, if you are a poor person, your family need it more your family, you know, first, your children first, your wife first. There's first in life always. And by taking care of your children, you are taking care of what God asks you to do. You are being a good person. You are being a Christian. And then if you can help in something else, like giving donation to someone who's poor, Feeding somebody, you have extra food. Why not? But you take care first of your family. 
that is the right thing to do. Because a person who don't take care of his family, he don't deserve to have one. Literally. Actually, it's a crime not to be good to your family. If you don't want to be good for them, why you have them? Why you brought them? Why you get married? Why you have children? So, a Christian person is always a person who have a good heart. And the good heart starts from your home. A man, he loves his wife. The wife, she loves the husband. They love their children. They do whatever they can to make them happy. Now, for sure, not every marriage is successful and that everybody, you know, it doesn't mean you are a bad person if your marriage fails. But I'm talking about the intention of the person. You do your best. Your intention always have to be good. If the intention fail, remember, it's not love who fail. It is people. The Bible says, not love never fail. Which is an amazing verse, by the way, in the Bible. Love never fail. And the reason love never fail, because when you do an act of love, you are successful always in the front of God. Maybe not in the front of people. Maybe people will judge you wrong. Maybe people will call you stupid. You know, like stupid, you give your money to this uh, poor person, you know, they don't, you know, that, for, for many, they will make fun of you. But God will not. He knew your intention. He knew what is in your heart. So love never fail. And always an act of love is an act of love. No matter what you do, you never fail. Let us say once somebody told me, uh, someone he make a donation for somebody you know let us say someone claimed to be poor sitting in the street ask him but he's a liar he is not really in need still you did not fail your love never fail god is watching you have amazing love in your heart and you did what you think is right what fail is that person he is the failure not you you think he fooled you but the fact he is for himself so don't let the evil one make you stay away from being in love. Being in love with love, and that is Christ the Lord. Love your enemy. Sometimes we go upset, we get angry. Muslims, they do things, war, mask, you know, like massacre, killing, violence. You go angry, you are normal, you are a human, you know, that's very normal. But still, love is exists for a reason, even in that case. Actually, in this case, is more important because love will heal you, will heal your pain. It's like a medicine, but it doesn't show on your skin. It is inside you. Hate will kill you. Hate is like a poison which is slowly, slowly destroying you. This is why if you go in the Middle East, you will see that even those who have, I mean, some countries in the Middle East, they have a lot of oil, they have money, but they are not enjoying their life. Because they go to school, the Jews, the Christians, you know, you, are, you have a lot of anger inside you. You don't enjoy life. You don't enjoy anything. They put a lot of hate, and they are, they, the hate is, is eating your heart is eating your blood. You cannot see anything in this earth without your hate. And by doing that, you are dead already. You lost your life. You became a slave of hatred. We Christian, we are free. Because we reject hate. And the second you have hate in your heart, you should know that you are doing it wrong. And you are staying away from the Lord. Somebody might say to me, okay, so well, let us say now the Armenian, they are having fight with the Azerbaijan. Isn't it hate to take your arm fight? No, it's not. God, he gave you life. Nobody should take it away from you. You have the right to defend yourself. The Bible, he said that the Lord, the Messiah, he asked them, the one who don't have a sword and go by one. But we knew that the Messiah never killed anyone. They never have a war. So what the sword for? They said to him, we have two swords. He said, this is enough to defend yourself. 
not to defend him. He don't, God don't need to, anyone to defend him. When Peter, he took his sword to defend the Messiah, he cut the ear of the soldier, the Messiah, he put the ear back and he rebuked the act. So defending yourself is not an act of hate, it's an act of love actually, because you're defending your land, your country, your family, your mother, your daughter, your son. Evil ones can do harm to them. That is an act of love. Even it sounds like ugly because it's a war. A Muslim, he have the right to protect his mosque. Even his mosque may be the house of the devil. But he should protect his mosque. Why? Because if you don't protect what is belong to you, that doesn't belong to you. You know what I mean? A Muslim should protect his life. If somebody want to kill him, he's a Muslim. So what? He's a human. He should defend himself. And that goes for the Christian. That goes for the Hindus. That goes for the Buddhas. But we don't fight evil by evil. That's what the Bible teaches us. We don't do as they do. That's why the Messiah, he says, love them. Bless those who curse you. And we bless the Muslims and we pray that the Lord, he will open their heart. And we... We should do our best to fight hatred so we can win more of ourselves and of them to be saved. Because if you cannot, if you, if you know, if you don't know how to love, how you can invite anyone? I mean, you're inviting me where exactly? When a Muslim he says to me, convert to Islam, okay, well, okay, well we go to convert to Islam, what will we do? Death to America? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you're inviting me to the hatred party. What is the joy to be there? Right? There's no joy in hatred. There's no love. It's hatred. No good. And always when there's no good, there's no God. Always when there's no good, there is no God. Very simple. When you see something happening is not good, it's mean God is not there. Stay away from it. And because our Lord, He is the good shepherd, love is there. And we stay with Him and He stay with us. So I want to say thank you for all for being here. And again, I apologize, I was away for a few days, but trust me, I was doing a very hard labor. I was not in vacation. Some of you think I was in vacation, I wish. Very tough labor, actually. My back is broken, and my voice is gone, and uh, did I lose weight? I never lose weight. I never get. I never gain weight, too. Uh, so I, I'm very thankful that the Lord, He gave me uh, the health to do a hard labor even though it's hard, but hard labor is good. It reminds you of those who do hard labor every day, how much they, they go through. You know, sometimes we complain about things, but what we complain about is a, is a life process of some people. So I, I really appreciate what the Lord He gave us. I really appreciate what the Lord He provide us. And I believe that the Lord uh, he is with with the one he you know they are with him if the Lord is with me who could be against me so be with the Lord my friend so the Lord will be with you he said knock at my door I will open for you call me I will answer and this is the only way to overcome our tiredness in this life this life is full of horrible stuff liars garbage scam fraud I mean you are worried all day long text messages I receive text messages you know there's by the way if you don't have an, a, a phone I mean if you don't have a number you don't need to have a phone number there is a fake uh, I mean not fake I mean there's app they give you a free number but those free numbers they give you always uh, you know enter like uh, text messages full of fraud even if you have a phone by the way I heard some people who have a phone they send you a message uh, take this uh, you know from your account otherwise we are going to charge you click here and log and then you click to log in in your bank account and then they got you this is a link 
made by the hackers so there's worry all day worry chase you in your phone worry chase you in the street worry chase you in, in your in your job we have corona we have people you know we have a lot of rumors a scam fraud about this corona god knows who is saying the truth who is lying so a lot of worry but there is only one thing can make the worry not a threat if you are a true believer you will notice that those who don't have a true belief they go and they get into so much depression they commit suicide but a true believer he will not go that far for always he receive help from the one who have help so i say that when you you are with the messiah you are helping yourself you do not need your help you are getting help spiritual help stress you know stress relief uh, faith is powerful can really make you even heal from from crazy diseases so for sure you know like uh, people still will die the Bible says that the, that the, the dead bury the dead so we will die that one to change anything you have faith or not you will you will you will die this is this is what God he he, he said and this is what will happen but there's difference between somebody is afraid of death and somebody he is not and that alone is is happiness imagine a person is afraid of the day he die life is terrible you know it's scary because you're afraid but if you are not you don't care you get happy you are happy okay I don't care really if I live until tomorrow or not I don't even think about it why want to be worried I'm a believer and that alone is a big comfort in your life will make you enjoy everything you, you see I was driving you know I was driving for a long time almost took me I think 24 hours maybe more actually uh, and a day and a half I'm driving in the way you know I see I was looking at the cloud looking at the uh, at the trees I mean it's amazing look it's so beautiful I mean God is amazing but at the same time there's death in the street I mean people drive like crazy there's people they go imagine there's a guy he came from the side of the of, of like the shoulder of the street of the highway he doubled me from the shoulder can you believe it almost uh, you know like crazy people so there's death even in the normal street there's death even if you are sitting in your chair even if you are doing nothing death is there but a believer he is not worried about when death come for death mean nothing horrible for him if you remember the story i told you about the monk who was dying and they brought a doctor for him the doctor he said to him you have a few hours and you will die the monk he had a big smile on his face the doctor went out and he said your brother he left lost his mind he said why he said i told him you would die in a few hours he gave me a big smile he said why you don't go and ask him if he can talk so he went back he said if you can talk you know answer me please why I told you, you know, you are going to die in a few hours and you are happy, you sound happy. He said, the monk, he said, I'm waiting for this moment all my life to meet my Lord. And now you are telling me I'm going to see him in a few hours. What do you expect? So even the death, which is the most horrible moment for someone, can be the most enjoyable moment for someone else. It's just a way, the way we think about it. And being with the Lord will make you change everything you think about. From marriage, to relationship, to jobs, to risk, to illness, to disease. I mean, everything. A believer, he sees things differently. So my friend, it's for your benefit to be a believer. It's not for the benefit of God. God do not need you. You are helping yourself. I want to say thank you again. May the Lord bless you. And until we we'll see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, God is willing. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we are happy for our friend who left Islam today. And I hope soon he will call us. Soon, accepted the Messiah as his Lord and Savior. Take care and God bless you. Bye-bye.